Dr. Green don't show. Break yourself, fool! Not a What's up, players? The Dr. Green Thumb Show. I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Yes. So you didn't know that. Settle down. Settle down. Yeah. <laughs> settle down. We got a long show. Settle down. We got a long show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wow. You're going to start it off like that, huh? Yeah. Start uh-huh. with violence. Um, <laughs> we got five for you. To my right, the good light. <laughs> Dr. Right off the titty. Ah, right off just, the t- <laughs> He just realized it. <laughs> All right, we'll get to this. Let's get let's get the intros going, and then ah. I'll take my five on the start. Damn! <sighs> Ain't that a first second? Ain't that a busy son? Uh, to my right, the man with the good light, C minus. What's up? Ah yeah. The psychotic one, the legendary psycho Leezy. Salute, salute, cheers, everybody. That's a nice hat. Oh, it's it's a very it. nice hat. Matches your whole yeah. deal, son. Some new, 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 new stuff I got. Flexing. It's, it's called coordination. Yeah. I like that. Up at the sniper tower, Bolton Blombo, bra, bra, and the Dominator. Just bicking back, being bull. Happy B Day, blood. Just yeah. 29, feeling fine. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing hurts yet, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling right <laughs> you now. You know, Bolton, <laughs> Bolton is very lucky. That we don't subscribe to the, you know, beating each other up on each other's birthdays anymore because today you would get it. <laughs> we should start today. You know why? <laughs> because we got my man, big ass Kyle Turley up in here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's right. That's right. All six, five of him giving you 29 <laughs> shots. That's right. <laughs> Three bills. I was just telling Pedro up here, that guy looks like he can murder somebody. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like Rojo XL. <laughs> or no, Rojo Double XL. Double, ro- double Rojo XL. Yes. <laughs> he looks like our bro Rojo's big brother. Yeah, I got to meet this guy. Keep hearing about yeah. him. No, he's yeah. got great. He has what you want. Like, yeah. He's got, yes, <laughs> true that. And we also got E-Zone up in here. What's up? What's up, everybody? Yeah, All right, baby. load me up for my flips um, <laughs> because I already did them. Oh, where's my dude? Oh, there it goes. Hold on. Yeah, you, Yo. see, you seen how mad he was about to get because he's like, who took this? And then the next No, I look, have to look around, Poppy. The next okay. look was going to be right here. He's like, it better not be up there. Hey, look, I just <laughs> I, I want to say salute to my man, Kyle. He brought his, you know, pre-roll hemp wraps um, yes. from Revenant, and we're going to blaze this up. I, I, the Skywalker I, OG in there. I, Skywalker. Top Dead near smoked mine already. This is it one was, I, it's really good, man. It has real good flour in there, and there's not that there doesn't have that chemical taste that some of you guys associate with um, the hemp wraps. Yeah, we work with the best, man. El Blunto's hooked us up with the great collab, and uh, it's the best blunt out there. That's why I went to him. Q's down the street from y'all, man. Just down the street here. Fire it up. You're looking no, right. no kind of tobacco, right? We need a no, dabba. No, no, that's a legal cannabis product. You can't. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> There's not a more scrutinized industry in the world. Yeah, that's you know what? Yeah. That's that's the thing. Like a lot of people that were 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 trying to get down with the blunt wraps, you can't yeah. because no. you can't sell any tobacco product in a dispensary like legally. You just it's against. Mm. Yep. So you know that people now, instead of doing the blunt wraps with with actual tobacco paper. They do it with hemp wrap, which I like better. To me, those the blunt wraps, man. You know, nah. You can't you can't argue that that spliff though, bro. That that tobacco with that shit is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I blew it. What do I got to do? <laughs> I feel oh. like he did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Give that to Leezy. Yeah, man, he's man. like he's like oh I, well I, we I love the spliff, man. And the and the Bible talks about tobacco and weed a lot. Yes, it does. Yeah, people don't talk about that, but it I does. Know. They don't talk about it enough. 
Healing, man. Frick. It's a healing plant. Can you pass the dabber? Used in prudence is y what it says. Used in prudence. <laughs> yes. Um, some of us older overindulge. Oh, five flips hey, for a hundred dollar no donation. Is there's that no what level you're of prudence? About? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Someone did that? That's stripper money. Someone did that. Okay, we'll get to that later. We're not going to do that right now, unless they want it. That right is now. the uh, same guy as last time, too. Oh, well, I, that's the guy who started the trend. Okay, so I I got to do the five flips right here, and then I and then I got to do five more. You got ten. Now. All right, let's. No, go. wait a minute. I screwed you up. To no, 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 no. Okay, I thought a, I had a donator. <laughs> a donator. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they donated a certain amount gotcha. for for these particular flips, and I'll just get them out of the way because you know I don't. Want to be owing anyone anything? I'm all about dabs, man. Them terps is where it's at. I was gonna ask you that. Um, is 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 dabs a part of your um your your intake? Your not part? not daily, no. But I love dabs just because of the terps, man. You hit those terpenes and you're getting just clarity. Well, Come when on. you try this on yeah. the green cycle right now, you <laughs> love it, Kyle. That's yeah. what I try to tell you, baby. Yeah, I love being high. Those terpenes are magical, man. It is what, great. What do you prefer smoking out of the consistencies, or is it just? I, I'm a smoker. No, I mean yeah. like uh, out of the yeah. dabs. Oh, dabs, uh, just anything. <laughs> hey, yeah, Kyle, I you love it. you spent nine seasons in the NFL, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's technically nine. They jipped me on a tenth year, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's crazy because not not everybody has a run like that, like in foot, yeah. espe most especially in football. <laughs> It's tough, man. You know, I mean, it's a hard game, so you can make it past it. Still, the average career length in the NFL is three and a half years, Damn. still to this day. So you make it out of that, and anything over it, it's, you know, as they say, land yap in New Orleans. So uh, the opportunity I had was incredible, and I maxed it out as much as I could. I was out of the league for – I made it to the NFL twice. I, I, got, I was out on a back injury, blew my back out, surgery, was out for two years, so four Damn. or five, and had to come back, got picked up with the Chiefs in 06. You got three years to become an, an amazing uh, and your trading card, and your yeah. com and your comeback was awesome. It was fun, man. It, it did, you know, I, was, I hit uh, half season playing time, you know, but uh, I was only supposed to be a tight end initially. I came back, I was two fifty, two sixty, so I made it back at another position. I was with the Dolphins in training camp down there with Nick Saban, and they didn't pick me up after I killed the camp, but then the Chiefs picked me up, and then Willie Rofe retired, and I had to play O-line again. <laughs> that, that limited the, you know, my body holding up for a few more years. I, I think I could probably have stuck it out uh, maybe a little bit longer had I had this plant, but even still, man, playing that O-line position is you, 60, 70 plays a day, no break. Oof. Every hit's a, you know, every play's a hit, so, mm -hmm. you know. It wears you out. True Multiple that. Surgeries. <laughs> if, if, if you had a chance to to smoke out with Ricky Williams. Oh yeah, man. Rick and I go way back. Uh, I know you do. Uh, back in New Orleans, uh, even when they thought he was in you know the mountains in India, <laughs> he was with me in Mexico, and we were burning and burning some trees. It <laughs> was some snorkeling. Our wives are hanging out with our kids. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, um, Rick and I have been at this a long time, man, and uh, great to see him, what he's doing out there uh, with all the things that he's been, the industry with brands and keeping that message out there and all the good work he does. Have you taken mushrooms before? Once, yeah. Then what happened? I was on a beach in Mexico, and the, and the, and the, the water was just crawling up the sand like that, you know, right at you. It was tr pretty trippy, so I was like... I don't know. There's too many things in this world I want to try that out with. <laughs> other, other than the ocean that I, that I love. <laughs> Damn. My ten are done. You're, you're a water person? Like You like the ocean a lot? Yeah, I grew up surfing. I, uh, my, my claim is that bigger than being on a cover Sports Illustrated. I was in Surfer Magazine twice. So uh, so you were more stoked about the surfer? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Deal? Yeah, because every athlete lives to be on on the Sports Illustrated cover, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the dream. But you didn't care. You wanted that surfer back. Yeah. You're, you're kind of bigger than the average surfer, man. When I see, the, like, you know, drive-by PCH, and I'm like, a lot of those dudes are, <laughs> like, you You'd know. You'd be surprised, yeah. though. Hey, I've surfed everywhere. Let's just say that, and it's because of my size. <laughs> you just I, need a bigger board. Yeah. When, when I get into it with the guys in the water, they don't try to get into it. With past you. a certain point, so you know. Hey, you don't belong <laughs> here, man. Oh, it's real, man. It is. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's like that. Locals, yeah. locals only. Yeah, straight so, up, like so. point, like Point Break. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything while you're uh, surfing and like 
in that the, while the wave's coming down, some people say that they see dolphins or stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that. surf with dolphins, sharks. Sharks? Oh, yeah, man, they're everywhere. They're That's everywhere. a big reason I stay away from the ocean. I don't like it. <laughs> no, hey, man. when you cut to the, yeah, when, when you try to go to the big waves, you you most likely find sharks and darf, dolphins in those oh, yeah, in those waters. waters. Yeah, because yeah. those are on reefs, you know, yeah. usually. And they oh, feed yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time, man. A lot of my friends have had those experiences. I haven't had the big shark experience, but, you know, <clears throat> you know they're out there. Uh, like the Navy SEALs, you know, they sense fear. That's what they sense. So yeah. they don't know they don't know who you are either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's, what, that's the way they operate. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. And they have respect, that animal instinct. Yeah. 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 It's it's crazy when you see these guys go down there and swim with those with the sharks like that, man. It's yeah. like, whoa. This girl, that uh Ocean Ramsey. That, yeah. You seen her? Yeah, Insta she is incredible Unreal. with that. Unreal. Like to to swim at the, you know, like really like not so that deep, but deep enough to where it's like, hey, if she if you had to get to the boat. Right. It's it's not that close. It's like and it's like she treats them like a pet. And look at that. It's hilarious. I mean, look at that. Yeah. She's a snack. No, I'm good. No, this <laughs> Dude, look how look at the size comparison. She's though. a snack. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? But you know what's crazy is that, you know, it's crazy. A lot of times sharks will bite you, but they don't they won't eat a human. We're too no. bony. Yeah, they don't want us. They don't no. want us. They yeah. take that bite and they might gnaw a piece off and be like, nah, this ain't it. Hey, we don't taste good to them. <laughs> this Back yeah. toothpicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the meaty stuff? <laughs> like a seal. That's oh. what I want. Yeah. I mean, they uh, might they might look at us as like a pop brownie, you know what I mean? <laughs> Without the THC in our blood <laughs> if they digest it, but it's and, not for taste. It's edible. <laughs> if a shark were to eat E Zone, would he get high? Yes. <laughs> He's like, why me? I think, if, yeah. dude, the worms are gonna get high. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it's my time to go. I tell you, when, dude, when it's your time, we're just all gonna roll you up. We're gonna, <laughs> we could have smoked me real at the end, <laughs> so you can live all forever. <laughs> I'll have myself ground up, put me in a bowl. Bro. True. I remember someone at the Rainbow where we met. Right, we That's met right. at the Rainbow. That's right. About Fifteen years. Ago. Someone, um, like. You know, we had a circle of friends that hung out there, and everybody had, you know, their outside circle of friends. And someone's outside circle of friends, you know, they were, they lost a, a family member or something like this. And it was a family member that was, like, you know, quite frankly, like, kind of fucked up, living on the edge. That's another and five. No one was. Mm. Damn. It's payback today, dude. <laughs> Remember those 35 flips I, you got me on the other day? Well, I had 35 yesterday. How many more you want me to do, man? I, I All right, I'll, I, I'll, I got those. Don't trip. Hey. Let me finish the story. Uh, where was I? Um, Rainbow. Um, Rainbow. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, I'm trying to remember the, the premise. Uh, what was I talking about? It was... Um, family member had passed away. Family member right. passed away. That's okay, right. so um, they're drunk. They're tripping. You know, they're mourning and everything. And then the, the chick... Um, you know the the family member. I don't know if she was a cousin or or niece or something. She breaks out the ashes with her brother. Oh no! And then they want to sprinkle the ashes in the joint. What? Oh. And then they start trying to pass that around. I'm like no. no, nah, I'm good. Time out. No. I you know and and I was telling the the homies around like, don't hit that. <laughs> what are you doing? I said one. You know, homie didn't pass in a peaceful type way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He, he, frankly, you know, being one thousand, he took a, he took his life. Oh, oh. you're gonna put the at that energy in your yeah. your weed you're smoking? Nah. Yeah, right, dude. I was about, Get that. I was about to say adrenochrome, and you said that shit. That's crazy. Throw, yeah. it, throw it in the ocean, dude. The fishes. Will yeah, get. put him in a peaceful place, cause like the way he went wasn't in a peaceful way. He needs to be somewhere at peace, not in my weed <laughs> or your weed or Never. your weed in Never. in our lungs. Nah, I ain't carrying none of that energy. Nah, that rest in peace to your family member, but no. You throw him on a bonfire, maybe. Yeah, th whatever. Yeah, you know, a genie comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Or just yeah. not smoking just, in a bonfire, yeah. Just Big Lebowski at show yeah. the and just throw it to the wind. <laughs> 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 to, the wind. <laughs> to the wind. Oh, that was the illest. Damn it, Walter! Knock down it, Walter. 
fucking big lebow bow. Uh, oh, what a classic. That that would be fucked up. He was a surfer. How many Ted. how many like <laughs> I feel like Cali Blaze right now, quite frankly. All right, ten. Wow. Set up. Um how how many people went through that? When they try to make this like beautiful transition yeah. of their of their friends or loved ones' ashes, and they throw it in the wind, and it comes right in their face, and <laughs> that sounded funny. It did. Yeah, double um, entendre. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people in the ocean. Be funny if it was a porn star. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yes, it's probably happened. That, that would porn be star funeral. Yeah, yeah. Everybody line up. Everybody <laughs> line up. It's the last time. Get a big ass fan. You would be pissed <laughs> off ready? though. <laughs> if if you're there trying to dump your loved one's ashes, the wind hit and it just psh, yeah. all in your face. Yeah, you're trying to spread your loved one into the world. You know, this is the place they talked about wanting to be when they passed and when they get all their ashes. And then you try to make this beautiful, grandiose, like, oh, this is for, you know, I love you. And you just throw it up and whack. Maybe that's them saying, I want to stay with you. I heard that I happens you. a lot. I, like <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. I can't leave. I'm in your face. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> you can make them into a diamond. That's what I hear. You can, yeah. You can make yeah. them into a jewel. Or a pendant. Yeah. You know, like a glass yeah. pendant, they can, and they can like put, a ring or a pendant. Yeah, they can make them into a bong too, bro. Like, you yeah, can, like if you, what? It, yeah, no, like there you go. Well, okay, so like yeah. if, if you were to get a bong like that one, and it has that little emblem on the side, you can have like a oh yeah, a little bit of ashes, and you attach that emblem into your into the bong, into the yeah. bong, and then that's everybody could get that as a commemorative piece. It's like oh, you have a little bit of my dad with me or whoever it is. Right. I, other thing I That'd found out, cool. I was cool. You can get your ashes pressed into vinyl. No, mm. wow. For yeah. real, that's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. get your ashes pressed into that's pretty cool. onto what, what the record. Is, what are you showing on the screen? You can start pre-selling that right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll pre-sell my pre-sell that shit right now, bro. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna release uh -oh. myself one more time <laughs> when I go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll sell a million today. Wow. Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, uh, we gonna take the pre-orders right now. It may not be for another twenty years. You get this record, but <laughs> oh man. Oh, no, man. his own was right. Cremation industry adapts to the marijuana trend. Yeah. You can See, now use the cremated remains of any person or oh, pet bro, to create awesome. a beautiful blown glass. You would just be mad if someone fucking... 15. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be mad if someone stole it, it. or yeah. broke it yeah. or any of that. That's the only problem with that. Like, you would have to save that at home. Bro, that's the straight up, like, ancient peace pipe stuff, bro. They used to smoke out of their ancestors' bones and all that stuff, Yeah. Bro. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a friend who his dad passed away uh, not awesome. too long ago, and he and his him his brother, they have a pendant with his dad's ashes, and they they uh, cool. yeah they they wear it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. You, mean, you don't even need that much either. Like I like I have my friend yeah. empty one glass. He he makes some of like the heady heady feel tips. Um. He he he. What is it? Uh. He's done it before, and I've seen them. I've been there. Of course, I've, I was from far away because you know it goes in there, but he has to like sprinkle it in. And the reaction to it is is kind of crazy. It lights up a little bit on the golder side, as the ashes are hitting the the the, the lava flame or whatever, mm. uh, you know, the actual red glass. And then you have to like mix it in there. I mean, it's it's pretty. It's it's trippy. What a trip. Some trippy work. Let me yeah. get the dab tool in the jar. What are y'all yeah. dabbing? That's what I don't know. This is um, Cali Blaze it's butter. Yeah. It's hash rosin. Rosin. Oh. Yeah, pretty. Mm, you'll get, you, you'll get to try daddy. that right now. After 15 hits, that'd be real hefty. Do you want to try some? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Uh, load them up. Number 15. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to start on mine after he's done with his, but you know, hey. Hmm. I you just want to extend, you know, because this is it's yes. delicious. Yes, it We're going to be high. It's, it's 11 minutes left. We're going to be high AF. Uh, <laughs> See, your ad the adaption was real. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> I, owe. After a I owe the bank. After a certain amount, y y you'll start. You'll start looking at every single word. I yep. was cool. I just, you know, I went on a run. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Man, when don't you know when when, run. when we're when we're you know focused in, we can be like we are on radio. But like when we're here, we're so in the comforts of home that yes. we can get on a run and be like, oh. And you see it as you say it. You yeah. see it slip, and you're like, <laughs> no. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're like Vader. We, Vader. Got de- we got desensitized to that, though, man. Come on. Hopefully with Musk now, we're going to get back to, you know, uh, what did we have growing up? Uh, that one guy, Mar- Morty. What was that dude? Oh, I know who you're talking about. We don't have anybody with no public discourse no more. It's all so censored and what got was, us all worried about saying this or that on that? your own podcast. What's, uh, his, what's, his, what's that what's guy's his name? Uh, and he would confront people. Mari Povich? Yeah, Mari Povich, but then there no. was that other crazy dude, man. He was, yeah, the cap? No, he's he's talking about not, it's not Wally George. It's uh, it's Downey. It's, um, yeah. Robert. What was his name? Morton, D- not Morton. Morton Downey Jr. Morton Downey Jr. Jr. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember him. That stuff was wild. Oh yeah. man, he used to get in fights. Bro, Geraldo, oh. all them shows, bro, were <laughs> off the chain. Hey, Geraldo. <laughs> yeah, he would he would get aggressive. Yeah, hey. they hit his show was like at 10, 11 o'clock or something. He, like that. Uh, they got censored buttons on them shows all day. This guy right it here. All, all yeah. Oh yeah. What, yeah. You son all... of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. That's hey, yeah. what was it? Uh, It'd be smoking on TV. You know? Yeah. 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 Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Cigarettes. Remember when uh, Geraldo Rivera had the big reveal of Al Capone's vault? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, is like, it, is it, Geraldo the guy with the wait, mustache? Yeah. Wait. Do the sound. Do the sound. Which one? What's the sound that he heard when all those vaults were empty? Oh. <laughs> 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 no. Which one? Oh, come on, see, it's I know. easy layup right there. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, off the backboard. There we go. That's the one, right? There. All right, sorry, I'm already a little disappointed. Why? What was it? All right, I'm the one who's did all the dabs. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> makes you better. So, Geraldo Rivera, there was this big. They found this big vault that was, you know, reportedly belonging to Al Capone. And they were gonna finally break the wall down. Yeah. And they were gonna find all these things. They didn't know what, yeah. but they were gonna find things. <laughs> this 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 thing was hours long. A- hours live. <laughs> yeah, right? it was live. Yeah, live, it was live. on TV. So oh, it was man. on. I forgot what network. And they just kept Isn't it. NBC. It wasn't NBC, right? It was. I think so. Yeah. Or, or ABC. It was one of the two C's. And. C. They were constantly trying to like drill through it, and they were like, "All right, coming back. We'll be hopefully we'll break through this. You know, we're we're getting we're just about to break through." And they just kept going and going and going to. I think it went past to eleven thirty, and then when they finally broke in, it was. <laughs> no, but literally, there was nothing in there. There was nothing in there. No. Not even like chair or something. No. There was stuff, but nothing. Well, to, nothing you were looking. You know, well, you waited all this time for. Geraldo to like, oh, we're it's Al Capone's vault. We're gonna find something. We might find bodies. We right. might, but we don't know. We're gonna find something. Jimmy Hoffa. Capone ain't stupid. They ain't gonna leave nothing. Well, when he went <laughs> to <part>. jail, <laughs> when he went to jail for them years for the tax evasion, you think his homies that didn't know where those vaults were didn't clean? Those clean out. Right. Oh, for sure. It was it was uh um, yeah free pickings for everybody. But that kind of I think it probably ended up like putting a little tarnish on Geraldo's career, right? Oh yeah, it, it made him look <laughs> like a dumb ass because he was like so gung ho, like we're gonna one find of, it. One of and many. He looked okay. This word I would think that was his whole shtick. This this <laughs> oh you made this right. this ex, this word didn't exist at the time in terms of slang and the definition of but you would call that today thirsty. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I'm saying? 100. Well, he was man. He was having the totally. clan. He'd have the the clan versus <laughs> these guys on the show. Oh, nothing's gonna happen here, folks. Chairs and everything are flying. It's like you set this whole thing up, bro. Yeah. You're yeah. thirsty as shit. Yeah, he even Oops. got his. Yeah, he got his nose broken. Everything. Yeah, yeah. nothing's yeah. gonna happen today. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Dude, Geraldo. <laughs> it's was it, wasn't that wrestler, that wrestler that slapped him up? Oh, yeah, yeah. he got slapped up by was, no, this is, this is People wonder why we are how we are gonna, today. This is why. Said, sit down. <laughs> this is what we grew up on. Look at, he, yeah, <laughs> he put he his hands on him. He put them hands on him. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. He never got like that on Donahue. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, they did. Donahue was crazy, too, man. Was, they all were, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. all of them. And what was, But no one beat Jerry when Howard it came Stern. to Ah, oh, Jerry. When it came to the scrappers. Jerry was where it started getting crazy. Well, because they were paying dudes to, you know, <laughs> per, ramp it up. It's Judge Jerry now, bro. Well, I remember someone, they would pay more per punch landed. Oh, really? The more drama, the yeah, more Yeah, the more, the, within like, the drama, if you got into a fight no way. and then you actually were able to make contact, they up, they gave like, per, like more. So yes. they were, wow, that'd be interesting to know that, that they were paying for violence. <laughs> they had a whole. <laughs> the more violent you get, the better. The bounty, paid. the bounty thing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
Because yeah. Spanish shows Scrappity they, they do thing too. Will, wow. what, What's his name? Um, Steve Steve Wilkos <laughs> Yeah, he's got the new show Yeah, yeah he's got his own he's show He's got his show And he's got them really scrapping They're like, they Yeah You know, hey <coughs> He got that. He got that Jerry, um, the Jerry juice. You wouldn't even have Howard Stern today. Yeah, you couldn't. No, none of these. None of these the shows would not, exist. Today. Not the Howard way, Stern wouldn't exist. Not today. the way he used to do shows. No, yeah. But exactly. Stern was before Jerry Springer. Yeah, he no, was. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. No, he oh, just we said, grew up on this whole era. Of, oh, he won, yeah, one hundred. Yeah, and we got to apologize on your podcast for cursing. and We got to take dabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a challenge. <laughs> oh, I know, but you know, you're trying to be good. I understand. <laughs> oh, <you don't>, right. <laughs> we have to keep trying. Oh yeah, you know. we we grew up that that era that didn't allow that. That's why it's so hard for us. I am punishing myself yeah. with these dabs. <laughs> I cuss around my kids and the and uh, you know they they just freak out you know because they don't hear that. <laughs> What's freaking out? Like it's like ooh yeah, you know, they don't hear that. Do you got the swear <laughs> jar on deck? Wow. No, no. Oh my my daughter holds me to that's that swear jar. That's grown folk talk, man. I tell them that's grown folk. Talk. <laughs> that's grown. <There> it is. <laughs> you can you can cuss all you want when you're 18. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. These words you've heard. You could use them. Yeah, I'm gonna show you name. exactly how to use them in context. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's everything. Guidance. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of guidance. My kids don't cuss. All my other kids, I grew up Mormon. All my nephews and these, I'll frick this and fetch that. And <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> but they can't say it. I like yeah. fetch that. Yeah. Frick. Fetch that. Yeah. You're such a snitch, man. Uh, what are you trying to snay? say? <laughs> I'm a snitch. Well, I'm trying to say bitch, but right. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. But you shouldn't yeah. be saying these things. Period. You're kidding. Frick yeah. Yeah. Frick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do, bro. It yeah. you, man. There you go. Frick You're not you. cursing. Right. According to the Mormon religion, you are not cursing. Right on. Okay. Wow. So Fetch, can... frick, uh, small print, dude. Snitch <laughs> for bitch. Cow. Uh, um, you can go down the line. Mm. Snatch, right? All these, every anything other than the word, just switch out that front letter. You're good. I see. You're good to wow. go. Wow! But once you, you once yeah. you use that one, no sacrament, bro. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> no sacrament. Damn. Stakes is high. Not this Sunday. Sunday. Hey, tuck you, man. <laughs> that's hey, right. that's you're good. good. Tuck. So you're you're, you're I like working that. Right. I like that. Tuck off. off. Yeah, yeah. Tuck off, son. That sounds. Oh, it still sounds. It's, it's a little too similar. Yo, tuck off, son. Yeah. Tuck. Tucker. <laughs> Shut the front. Yo, you tuck it up. Hey, the front door. <laughs> I'm, Shut I the, see how it works. I'm not gonna try this. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> well, you know, he says you know, I'm you not got, subscribing. You got two minutes, man. You got wow. two minutes. You get a you're all, you're like you've been <laughs> immaculate today, son. I must say, B got the award today for the first off top, like within the first couple seconds. It was like bam. I lost myself in the intro, but that will not happen <laughs> again. I did a show yesterday, and they asked me. They're like, "Yo, does B real like 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 does he really smoke all the time?" I was like, "Yes, he, he, he does this shit all the time." <laughs> right. Oh damn, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh, he had two minutes. Uh, two minutes. Yeah, two Blew minutes. It. <laughs> See, dude. Oh shit. You gotta get a fat. There you go. Rick, all yeah. that. Or, yeah. or or go Johnny Dangerously style. Yeah. <laughs> Fargan ice hole. Oh. Uh, yep. Fargan ice hole. summon a batch. Fargan, what? You've Fargan never seen Ice Johnny Dean. You've never seen him, bitch. What year is this? <laughs> yeah, see, you know, what, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, yeah, so. <laughs> Maybe what, 82? 46. Uh, oh, yeah, you got it. Johnny Dangerously. You one Fargan of the greatest Ice Hole. Okay, so. Um, if it wasn't on TV your, land, I didn't. Hold on, hold on, time out. Who's your favorite Batman? Um, the, Michael Keaton. There okay, you go. Johnny so. Dangerous. He plays Johnny, Johnny Dangerously. Oh, he's, it's, Johnny. he's he's the star of the 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 movie. You're gonna love this movie. Um, yeah, yeah watch it. Mm. You'll appreciate it. It's hilarious. Yeah, I catch up on certain movies. It's about movies. mobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious though. <laughs> it's all I about mean, Al Capone. Who, who the guy? The so and so did it to me once. <laughs> Joe Piscopo once. once. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you shouldn't watch? I blew there, my, he is. there he is. That's, I blew my fucking my fucking dork off. His yeah. headpiece. <laughs> That's being advertised that you shouldn't watch. All Didn't over he have a headpiece? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> His headpiece. Uh, I got the, <laughs> my bells, my fucking bells. <laughs> my fucking Dude, bells. That movie, I'm surprised you haven't seen that. I would say that's a really good crude movie as well as Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks. <sighs> Classic. Hey, they didn't curse once in it, but the 
the words that they did use, it was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Fodig an ice hole. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, it's a great movie. You're, you're you're wide open. Why'd you turn this up to the max, B? I didn't turn it up to the max. <laughs> it's that green. What do you mean? Tell me why. Hey. What, 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 what um, heat was it on? It was like the fifth one. Hey, we're in the clear now. No, was it? it was on the green. Fucking cuss. You turned it. You flipped it. It's wide open now. We're wide open, the guy. Yeah. This. Okay, in that case, fuck <laughs> off. I didn't put... I didn't there we go. <laughs> Get it out. You can fucking cuss, guys. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Getting some good old school movie oh clips out of high. Yeah. <laughs> but that's every day. Hey, man. Yes. A smoke we it's eat a, every day. Is life. It's always now it seems like to me it's the first thirty minutes of the show are always kinda by the they're so like, oh, what's gonna happen? You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, who's gonna who's gonna get the first fucking five or ten, you know? Now I got them today, boy. Yeah. Mm. That five flip is not um, a joke. Hey, less is winning by not by not saying much. They cash yeah, up, that, real that's, quick. That's, that, that's kind of the key. Just, just <laughs> stay, stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> not, not talk at all. I like that. He's just been here, like yeah. The red cup. <laughs> and look, Chill this it. guy right here. He had two minutes and blew it. He had two minutes. <laughs> got less than two minutes. It was like probably a minute thirty-five. <laughs> I kind of wanted this. <laughs> Oh, you kind of wanted that? <laughs> Sounds like it. As soon as you said, Yo, only two minutes left. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> shit. <Fuck> that. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I said. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, it's great. Now, you said something was shit. Yeah, it was something quick. Shiddly diddly. <laughs> Shiddly diddly. Shiddly diddly. Yeah. Shiddly diddly who? My God. Who were all the guys in Cypress Hill that uh, burned? Is everybody burned? Everybody burns, yeah. yes. Uh, there's Send Dog, he burns. Oh, I know that. Um, Eric Bobo, right now, he can't burn because he's on probation, mm -hmm. so he doesn't burn right now. Um, Some kind of a badass. Burn, and and uh, Muggs, <laughs> he definitely burns. And uh, DJ Lord, who DJs for us now, he definitely burns. Yeah, uh, yeah everybody. How was that touring uh, in the past? Uh, getting, you know, I mean, they pulled, they've pulled over Willie, oh. they pulled over, the, you know, how's that on the, in touring with, uh, with you guys? We've, you know, well, you would think that they hassled us throughout, but not really. They, you know, but then again, we don't advertise on our bus. Right, like, of course. And if our driver is smart enough, when they, if, if he were to get pulled over, pulled over because he was not driving properly, and they ask who's on the bus. Right. If he was smart, he says Backstreet Boys and not Cypress Hill. Were those code words? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way, like, oh, all right, cool. You uh, know, drive. So you yeah. never got set up even. No. I mean the That's only cool. time I think the only time we ever uh That's awesome. I think the only time we ever really got scraped is maybe at one of those border checkpoints. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Right. At that point, you know, if we had some weed and we didn't d dump it before we got there, yeah, definitely they gave us the business. But fortunately, n none of us ever went to jail. Probably more cops appreciate that you're out. Like, I always wondered well, why. Did Bob Marley, ever, how was he touring in America? Yeah. I, that, I never heard like it. In his get, time, it had to be hard. Pulled over, though. Like, because if I you never got, heard of that. Yeah, because if you got scraped. You'd probably appreciate it. They had to be a fan. So how's this working? Mm -hmm. Okay, so th the next one. All right, so after this one. Use then this thing. you don't put your mouth on it, just like right. away from it. It's like shotgun hits. And then that water's there done. There you go. And flip and you it. Flip it. You can let that out. And that's just going to keep going until it stops ringing. That's a good temp. Yeah, the green. Yeah, right? <coughs> Tastes good, right? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Unlike that red be real gaming. <coughs> I didn't give you red. <laughs> flip it. Oh. Damn. Flip it good. <coughs> Ezone shout out the other day was funny. He was like, well, tune in to my show tomorrow where we can swear. <laughs> yeah, I was like, tune in tomorrow where you can swear. Right, you almost went away clean. <coughs> I was not clean. That brain cell, <laughs> that, that, that one brain cell in there was like, fuck no, we ain't doing this. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Got me. All right. You can't do that in the smoke box. <laughs> no, nah, then you wouldn't have an interview. That's what I felt like. <laughs> smoke. On the 20th. On the 20th flip, that's what it felt like. 
Wow. <laughs> that thing's pretty sweet. Broke a barrier here. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am here. Yep. You can I, definitely get the different flavors as it rotates. Oh, yeah. It, um, you could taste the terps all day. And the water's got probably changing. Getting more plant-based. Dirty on there. That's yeah. good. That was awesome. Yes. It's very stony. It's a very a stony weapon. Mm. <laughs> That's a new product, isn't it? Well, stun they've been putting it out for a while. Our collab with them, yeah, it's newer. But uh, I think Seth Rogen was the first with, with yeah. this piece, and he did something on his uh, Instagram, and it you know, yeah. got out there, and then they put one in our hands, and we gladly put it on the table. And we're like, hey. That's awesome, man. I love that. Yes, we put it to use. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I want off top. I want to say a uh, salute to our sponsors, <laughs> CBD Lion. Some of the best CBDs in game. If you know someone who needs CBDs, try some of these CBDs. Go to their menu. Uh, they got Delta Eight and Nine products: CBD gummies, edibles, tinctures, topicals, hemp flower, full spectrum capsules, broad spectrum capsules, isolate products, broad and full spectrum products, CBD bundles, combo packs. Pet tinctures and treats. You want them? They got them. Yep. These bath bombs, bananas. <laughs> All right, try them. Um, they sell out fast, so if they're restocked, get them. Don't think about it. Just get them. That's if you soak and toke. Some people soak and toke, like Eric Bobo. He's not here. He soaks and tokes. You could do that with these. Um, go to CBD line, choose up, uh, use the highest milligrams possible. That's what you want to do. <clears throat> All right. Use those CBDs. They're like, um, supplements. They will help you. All right. Go to CBD line, use coupon code. Be real for a discount on your purchase. CBDline.com. Yes. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Fucking rawr. Fucking rawr. Bath bombs are real, man. Yeah. Hey, I want to send a shout out to my man Red Man who came up in here yesterday. Salute to the legend. Yeah, man. He's up in here, snapped right in. We had a blast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit was mad funny. I was I was watching it from the crib. <laughs> yeah, hilarious Larry. on the yeah. submissions. Oh, that was it. the best. I think one of the best parts of the show is seeing because normally when people would watch the submissions, we'd all go, "Oh yeah, you know, that looks cool." But he was like, "Nah," and he just went in on every submission, <laughs> and that was the best because it was just like, "Nah, you got that light skin food." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I like a little it. darker." I like that he yeah. didn't let uh, Cairo get away with not doing his uh, his flips. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was yeah the when best. Cairo was trying to get away from his flips, he called Cairo on the flips. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cairo, you ain't getting away with no non flips. Typical. Mm. That was awesome. So salute to Red. Yes. He's actually a producer of Dab Roast. Yep. Which I did with them after we did this show. I was elevated. Elevated. On many levels. I can't imagine, man. As I am now. Yeah. I mean, I just <laughs> twenty five flipped it. Wow. That's, that's what it, it does. That's what and psh, yeah. And I'm looking anyone... at it like, how long am I gonna let it sit on this table? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that tweet for real that Elon Musk put out, or the people are sharing the one that says, and "Then my next thing, I'm gonna buy Coca Cola and put cocaine back in it." That's yeah. <laughs> If you really got to ask if that's real. I'm just like, I, I saw too many people and I was like, yo, even if he did it, said it jokingly, like, did he really put that out there? He, he could have. Uh, yeah. He could probably do that. It's possible. I mean, to get away, even if it's joking, I mean, this, he could get away research with Research it. It's there. I mean. He probably, I was like, yeah, his publicist he probably told him to delete it. He yeah, did. It is yeah. right there. Right there. Verified. It's it's still right there on Twitter. <laughs> wow. Hey. There you go. You're gonna put He's got cocaine. 4 million likes on there. <laughs> oh, Holy, I mean. I want some cocaine. In my oh, I would like, I guess he could let the word cocaine slip because he's the owner now. <laughs> yeah. He's always like, give me all the Coca-Colas. 
I mean, I, have, I don't really drink Coca Cola like said, that, but he said I mean, I'm gonna buy a pallet of Coca Cola. <laughs> damn! Look at oh, okay, I, damn. See, I thought it was a joke because people love to make fake, uh, fake tweets and stuff yeah. like that, and so I was like, oh, I mean, like he'd really say, but then seeing it right now and seeing the likes go up and up as we, as as we're just right here looking at it, of course he's gonna let cocaine slip because he owns. Twitter now he doesn't he can't he ain't censoring himself for shit. Wow, Next sponsor, yeah. he can say some outrageous <laughs> shit and you know he's well, even just joking is. about they're it. They're making it out to be like he's the one who's causing all this and he's just pointing out this has gone on. You the, guys made a ton of money on all this stuff already. Like I'm not I just want I just want America back. <laughs> right? Look at this shit. It that's says, crazy. It is it, his shit just keeps going up. Look at real song. magic is. Um, you see that sounds like the Coca Cola. <laughs> oh, that's great. Coca Cola we need <laughs> actual slogan. Of Coca hey, you These know doctors what? used to tell us to smoke all the time. They had the doctors were smoking cigarettes in yeah. the delivery rooms. Mm-hmm. You're for your nerves. Dude, smoking was on airplanes. Yeah. I, on, the, on the plane flying out here, because I'm back in Nashville now, on the plane flying out here, there still is. This is a brand new plane. <laughs> That's a bland, brand new American Airlines plane. Brand new seats, brand new everything. Uh, on the back of the door is still an ashtray. I'm wondering why that is. Dude, that's scary, bro. That shit makes they just repainted the plane and just left the old seats in there. <laughs> they left the old seats. Yeah, because <laughs> anything with they just re, they refurbish a lot of planes. Like, yeah, that. you they, know what I'm saying? They, and they that's the one little thing they don't fucking I guess bother nah. fucking with. You think, you think people you look think at that like, whoa? No, it looked is this new. An old ass plane. No, it looked like a new uh, design deal. Yeah. It would look like a brand new design. It's still on the airplanes today. This is yeah. what my point is. Wow. Yeah. At some point, <laughs> we're going to need to smoke something. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That, Let that, it be weed. That, Again. that is a little weird. Bam. Let it be weed. It that, is. It is a little weird that they would put that on the new thing, especially if, it, <laughs> if, it, if you're not allowed to smoke. Yeah. Like, unless even if you sell it to another country that doesn't fly to America, I'm pretty sure they still don't allow you to smoke. No, they don't. I, uh, I don't think so. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, good question maybe to find some, out. I bet maybe, you they do in some foreign countries. Maybe one or two airlines. Their, could, their planes are still having them. So yeah. that, that means that they're going somewhere that does. Air Mexico, you can smoke on here. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I remember on the seats, you know, they'd have little ashtrays mm -hmm. when you first, when I first started flying, I was like, no smoke. It always, you know, no smoking when you got on the plane, but they had the little ashtrays right so You're there. like, oh, yeah. And I, and I was like, damn, well, I mean... You think, you, think, you think back in the days the pilots were smoking too? Like well, For sure. All day. Yeah. I think pilots <laughs> have a vape pen, Whole dog. Flight. I think there's some pilots out there that probably sit there. That shit's it's called autopilot for a reason. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It's just, you just gotta watch it so it doesn't crash. And I'm pretty sure they probably have a pen up there and they probably like, hey, yo, hitting this pen real quick. They stress. definitely having drinks, I'll tell you that much. You got a pilot that probably watches this show <laughs> that will anonymously uh, admit to that. <laughs> probably <What> was, multiple. <laughs> <laughs> what was the movie with Denzel Washington Flight? <coughs> where he was doing bumps and getting drunk yeah. before he flew planes? Yeah. Oh, I, the the yeah. pilot, the yeah. pilot, not yeah. Denzel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but hey, they put cocaine in all kinds of other things, okay? Cocaine you can get from a company called Naramco, who just uh, sold a billion-dollar lawsuit for importing real heroin from Tasmania to put in all of our pharmaceuticals that got everybody hooked on all these drugs and why we have this whole... Well, that's that company that started opiate. making uh, oxys at first, right? No, that's that one company, but the, where it all comes from is this one hub called Naramco, and they're the, they're the distributor of all the narcotics into all the pharmaceuticals. Wow. Yeah. Subsidiary That's Johnson & Johnson, these people are all in on it. And they got cocaine, real cocaine, in pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know which ones? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. I know of it's out there. And, and they, won't admit, they, don't, they won't admit to it, again, just like they got away with not having to admit to what they just settled a billion-dollar lawsuit on <laughs> from importing, they proved, pure heroin from Tasmania. <sighs> To I'm, put in all the oxycotons and everything else in America. I'm pretty sure it's anything with a cane in it, because like Novocaine, that probably has coke in it. It's a well, plant. It's a plant. All of these things, they they yeah. know they can't uh, synthetically create the real thing. They still can't do it in cannabis. They're trying. Every one of these pharmaceutical companies is fully vested in synthetic cannabinoid development. They've got right. over quoted. They've got over 400 strains synthetically developed. Ugh. Boofery. Of cannabinoids. Boofery. Yeah. Uh, it's never going to be. It's all just going to be Bud Light. So there's always. There's yeah. 400 more of Delta 9s and Delta 10s, like different cannabinoids that you're talking about? They're, they're already in some of these medications out here. 
Uh, the, 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 like Regeneron and all these other ones to uh, go against COVID, all these other ones, they say it's a cocktail of this, a cocktail of that. Why they say cocktail? Because they can't tell you about all the real stuff that you can use yourself that are in these drugs already, like cocaine and heroin and all these other deals, but also these cannabinoids that they've developed that are synthetic because you need the cannabinoid system, as it turns out, to activate recovery. Yeah. <laughs> it's science. You got you're made up of water and weed, as it turns out. <laughs> your receptors like yeah. take in the cannabis. Yeah. You're like, made of cannabis. Yes. It, it, That's mean, the crazy shit. Yeah. Oh, I know we are. Have you ever smoked and still been angry? <laughs> oh, we are definitely. <laughs> Have you ever smoked and still been angry? No. Like it's happened to me like twice and I was like, Really? Oh. And I like where I was I was I was still smoking, but I was like, <laughs> like, I, like I'm just fucking I'm hitting this, I'm like yeah, I'm still fucking pissed. <laughs> like, yeah. but it, it eventually goes away. I yeah. mean, yeah, you could smoke. You could sm smoke your anger away. That's for sure. That's true. Yeah, by the time it's done, you're not gonna be like this. You're just gonna be like, yeah, well, it's not that bad, but still. <laughs> you know, like, after after your like fifth puff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck it. Hey, you know what? And then you're like, you really tell yourself, were you really about to overreact to this shit right now? Yeah. Are you really about to let this thing live inside your mind rent free right now? Yeah. I keep, that. I keep your own therapist. I yeah. keep like four hash holes in the house, just like in case I ever do get that. Pissed. Oh, you're doing deep therapy. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah, like the like because I like uh, I've gotten like very OCD about my joints. When I, when I roll them up, I was like, these are my morning joints. These are the fucking like wow. I need a KO, and I, ha I keep like just four in the house. And the hash holes is like <laughs> where you put the worm of hash rosin in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the, you make a worm out of this shit, and then you cover it up, and like it burns like a donut hole in there. Oh. And you get the fucking just like the hash rosin and the weed at the same time. But those hit the fuck. Is that guys. in a box in your closet, like marked anger? <laughs> oh no, I, was, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. anger? I don't have my little, about anger. It's a, it's, a, it's a little tin like that, and it looks like a, it's like three different cassette players. They, they look like cassette players. You crack them open, and you could fit like tw ten joints in there. But the the ones that you make look like very small joints. I fit about six of those in there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the ten mil. It's good. It's good to hear you're angry about other stuff. You, you, all the anger. I hear. You, uh, I was watching one episode about the IE, and you're like, "Fuck that place." <laughs> <laughs> they gave us Cairo, dude. But then yeah. I was like, "Yo," I was like, "You came from the IE, so it's not that bad." Yeah, nine oh nine, nine oh nine, OG. Yeah, there's some good stoners over there, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> not Cairo though. <laughs> <laughs> I just played Cairo. Don't cry. <laughs> that was what episode I was watching. I was like, oh, my Cairo. What will happen? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I.e., baby. Oh man. He's all. What? What you said? That, hey, we've had some great shows in the I.E. <laughs> they let you get away with a some lot. Some of the craziest motherfuckers out oh, there. Oh yeah. Now you guys play the Fox, right? Yeah. 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 A good show in there. Yeah, we've played a couple shows down there, but it's, it, you know, because a lot of them won't, don't necessarily come to the L.A. shows because it's a fucking hike. Yeah. You know, to come from all the way over. So when you the show park. goes over there on the east side, way on the east side, because that's east, <laughs> um, they show up and they go nuts down there. It's fucking salute to that. Yeah, man. I.E. is a special place. Except for Cairo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ontario, man. That's, that's, that's Ontario. I don't care. <laughs> that don't care. No, I'm just kidding. Damn. I'm just kidding, bro. How did he know you were from there? That's the fucking bomb. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just How did he kidding. Know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I only say that because I, 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 I have a. Because I've heard about you, bro. Yeah. No, because I, I know that there's a separation with uh, uh, Riverside County and Ontario. It's like a separation right there because. Uh, Anthony Munoz was drafted above me in the NFL draft and was the highest offensive lineman ever taken out of that area. And then I was drafted at seven. And so I was said to be the highest drafted uh, player out of the Inland Empire at seven. And so there was this competition to figure out what was IE versus Ontario or whatever. But he, I know he is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, brother. <laughs> That's Cali. Cali representing, right? Yeah, there. man. Yeah. All day. I love growing up down here, man. Yeah. Special place. We got to we gotta get it back somehow, man. You did a lot of surfing at San Diego State, right? A lot of surfing. Still, uh, not, to, not, not enough now, but uh, all through college, even in NFL, post-NFL, did the big wave surfing deal, tried that out, you know, unbelievable. Yeah, I did it all. Handstands and all that. Nah, I never could do that. No, I, just, I, I went for the 
the more faster end of it. <laughs> hey, did you yeah. see that? What was that? That special they did on on Homie that was riding in big ass waves, and he went to that one island. What's it called? Uh, Out in. Uh, it was some ex- Fiji. Yeah, uh, some uh, exotic- Tavarua, Laird Hamilton. Maybe is what you're talking. No, nah, it wasn't yeah. Laird Hamilton. It was another dude. Yeah. Um, Shane Dorian. Could have been. Uh, McNamara. Those guys, they, they got the new spot, Nazar or Nazari or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's in Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. That this, spot. This right wave's there. insane. This Those waves look. 100 plus feet. Yeah. Monsters. Yeah, it showed like a couple yeah. of dudes getting taken by those crazy yeah. ass waves. Is yeah. it that HBO special? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it Nasare? The hundred foot wave. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. When you see, yeah those when you see those waves break and these guys are trying to ride them like yeah. for real. Oh yeah, those guys are insane. Yeah. They're doing like 40, 50 miles an hour down the face of these waves with chop coming out of them. That's uh, th- two to three feet high chop coming at you and you're going 40 50 miles an hour down the face of this 100 foot wave these guys are that athletic With damn they're dude. insane they're insane bro. oh no nah, dude no nah. yeah you, you gotta really? get that so not only are you going down that face but you got all this chop that's, that's coming at you at the same time pending it's, the, it's how, like anything could be in there yo, one, one 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 little slip up yeah. And it's, it's like it's the, a rizzle. Like out. It's like the foot of a giant yeah. stomping you. Now they got all yeah. these new wetsuits now. It's uh, <laughs> they float up. Uh, yeah, they got these killer wetsuits now with all these CO two cartridges in them that blow these ballast uh, uh, balloons inside the wetsuit and just <laughs> right to the surface. Oh, that's oh cool! Damn, that's yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah, like, oh, fun. cool, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, for I real, would not awesome. do it, but I that's would, cool. Yeah, yeah, have that's awesome. That. That's super cool. Yeah, there's only been a couple stories, I think, uh, early stages of that product where a guy had it fail on him. But uh-huh. luckily, those guys were talented enough to know what to do. That's yeah. right. Yeah, they, they, those guys are amazing. They, the, the commitment to the that sport is insane. Because yeah. it's, it's live or die. Every yeah. wave is, is potential death. I wonder who tested it, <laughs> you know, and how they yeah. tested it to, like, make sure that it would work. Yeah, all those guys in Hawaii, man. <laughs> How many they like choked on waves on purpose? <clears throat> but Shane Dorian almost died. Yeah, uh, and then yeah. a couple guys almost died. But yeah, luckily they knew what they're doing, and they had good crews around them that you know. But that's cool up. that they have those type of suits now. Yeah, amazing. That'll get you to the top. <laughs> oh, you're gonna see a guy ride, you know, a 200 foot wave somewhere in the world that's happening. <laughs> at some point nuts yeah it's insane it's awesome yeah <laughs> i had to do it but still never it, it didn't didn't that's the only thing that compared to coming out the tunnel in the nfl was big wave surfing when you let go of the rope or you're doing step offs or whatever off a of ski and you and you get into a wave and that thing starts to build up and you're now it just you, the enormity of it and how small you feel it just grows so fast Ooh, you're yeah. just like Whoa. Now you're in the middle of this thing, just standing there. You're going, ah, and you, and you can't fuck it up. Oh yeah. What do you think? What do you think creates this? These waves? Well, just all the activity yeah. around the, the, the weather, ocean, all the everything, the a little bit of everything. Yeah, all the spaceships flying in and out, everything. Man. Gravity, <laughs> so, right? Yeah. Hey, man, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> all the spaceships flying in and out. <laughs> oh, they do it, bro. Yeah. What's you know, you never I seen, seen them in Mexico? What spaceships? Yeah. Yeah, they got a whole base under the water in the Sea of Cortez. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I seen uh, ten to twenty. Ma- oh, so that's a odd number. So probably around fifteen to twenty on consistent five-minute intervals from space, light straight to the Sea of Cortez. That's I watched. Amazing. I watched fifteen to twenty of those. Me and my buddy driving down to Baja about three in the morning. What? Yeah, swear to God. That's crazy. I believe you. No, I saw yeah, that, and yeah, my 100%. buddies saw it a hundred percent. The fishermen will tell you all that down. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I've heard of that uh, that special base that's underwater. That, that area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like supposedly like it's the liaison between you know. You can Google Earth it right now. Google Earth that thing right here and put it up. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants to talk about it. Tucker Carlson's always talking about UFOs. I'm like, why are you talking about the base? You can see on Google Earth, bro. It's <laughs> right there to see Cortez. It's like a hundred miles long. And all these other videos of people saying they caught clips on uh, all these things. Where Pe- these, yeah, yeah, people have been talking about that place for a long time. Yeah. You know, but unless you catch it, catch it yourself, you yeah. you kind of write it off. But you got to see it. <laughs> I got to see it, bro. Yeah. It was wild. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was wild, man. That's I know. It, yeah. See, and, and that's the thing. People used to write shit off until they seen it. Yeah. Now, that's people it. catch that shit, and Damn. you can't, like, discount it. There it is. 
How about it? And I, if you go down to the, the southern tip of it is where there's other videos of guys said that they monitor these screens. You know, some of these geeks out here monitor all this stuff that's going on. And they've got pictures. And these videos have been taken down off YouTube and everything where mm -hmm. they've, they've got these UFOs going into this intake. That one off L.A. they all talk about, that one north of L.A. here. Yeah. Uh, that's that's got to be one, man. Or an old one. One or two. But right. whatever. I saw it. So They're around. Is what it is. They're around you know. in places. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's all us, man. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we got to move past that at some point, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Hey, you watch that <laughs> that show, Skinwalker Ranch? It's about. I haven't seen Walker Ranch. Uh, Skinwalker. Skinwalker. Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah. No. It's 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 about uh, these dudes doing a study on this fucking spot in Utah mm. that. Um, a lot of phenomenon hap happens oh, yeah. there. Big time. And uh, That's all those uh, like, m uh, deposits out there of all the uranium and everything. All it's that huge in oh, Utah. Yeah, you got to check that yeah. shit out. If you uh -huh. get a chance, check yeah, it out. Yeah. It's pretty good. Big time. Yeah. I grew up out there. We lived in a little town called Emory. And you look at the history of that. Oh, man, the government's been all around there. Deposits of what, though? All uranium and uh, it's just like all these other uh, you know things that they need to generate power in these engines that are producing these things that can go underwater and in and out and do all this other stuff and why we don't need to keep all these wars going and just, you know, yeah. let it be, man. Smoke weed. Smoke. I, my, 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 my theory is that they're, uh, the only thing holding any of this together is the group of people in that element of what the fuck's going on, uh, pass it back, uh, that is controlling this that smokes weed. <laughs> like, Period. They're like, nah, nah, we're gonna yeah. be cool. We're gonna be cool. Yeah. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, they're the ones in the meetings that are like, ah, don't burn it down yet. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we got Hold on. One weed's more. About, weed's about to be legal. Come on, we got these guys down here doing this shit. Try to get it legal. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We'll, we'll work it out. Just give him a shot. We'll work it out. We're gonna figure out this population thing. <laughs> We're gonna figure out the population <laughs> thing. Don't worry. We'll figure out how to make it work. It's gonna, it's gonna start giving you food that, that de, de sterilizes you. Like, yeah. you're not and, fertile. And yeah. the meetings yeah, just high sense. as shit. They're like, no, population's at this, 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 this that. Uh, no, 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 bro. No, just no. smoke. Just have, as just long smoke. as there's weed, they'll be less problematic. I swear. <laughs> I swear they're gonna be less problematic. It, it would be true if more people smoked, they would be less fucking. On some shit. Oh, and the environment. Come on. All the hemp opportunity. It's ridiculous. If, yeah. they really, if you're not talking about hemp in the green conversation, then you're not talking about the green conversation at all. Wow. You're, 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 creating, you're creating another problem that you're going to have to fix. Right. Everybody's now, all these cans are, we're going to go against plastic. Well, it's not, now we're going to have aluminum everywhere. And we're gonna recycle that though, and we can get back to collecting cans. And you know. after that shit is recycled, doesn't even get recycled to Bro. begin with. It's like, yeah, you're right. Hemp plastics available. It's awesome. And yeah. biodegradable too. Go, yep. You can keep building your landfills. Just will make more mountains. Yeah. Trash fish. They'll be trash fish. Clean the ground. Everything. <laughs> they said Chernobyl is fixed because of all the hemp that they threw out and planted around there. Because a the guy had a theory, and it's totally reclaimed the soil and everything else. That's cool. Around Chernobyl. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's, there's no more levels of radiation around this place, apparently, because of all the hemp they threw out there, and it totally cleaned the soil and the air. You can look yeah. At, yeah, Google all that. There's a lot of studies and stories that popped up on that one. Hemp. Weed's the answer. Isn't that shit? Weed is the answer. Taking over right now? What? Chernobyl? What about it? It was taking over? Yeah, isn't it taking over right now? No, uh, they, uh, the Ukrainians got control back. Oh. oh did they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was just wondering. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, they took it over." Yeah. Only uh, I know Russia took it over, but then only to lose control of it. That's what they say. That's who knows. That's what they're telling us. Yeah. Ugh. You one, one never knows. Ah, um, crazy. And you know what time it is? What time? What time? It's this time. All right, we got a bunch of submissions in today. We got Adolf back in here from the other day saying, be real. What Great. 
the joint. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. all right. Yeah. Well, let's do it. He wants your feelings hurt, huh? <laughs> he wants the feelings. <laughs> <sighs> well, look, I don't know what you were trying to do here, so I'm going to assume you were trying to do like a cone style because that's what it looks like. And by cones, um, well, I got to give that like a six. Mm. But just keep keep rolling smoke more weed that's going to get better what's the category as far as qualifications Sh- hand shape rolled? Hand, yeah a hand roll yeah cone? everybody everybody that's not much. bad if it's a hand rolled cone H- hand rolled shape yeah it is it's because cool. it's with that funky field tip on the bottom oh yeah it's gonna smoke great there's no stuffer there no doubt about that that's a hand roll but that's a six because he wanted it rated yeah. <laughs> on a on a scale of what we consider, hey, who, who who took the joint? One to ten. Somebody finally took it. Oh no, it's up there at the front of the table, right there. Oh yeah, you left it up there. <laughs> it's part of the crew now. It's symbolic. It's <laughs> it's part of the crew. See it right there. Look, look at the screen. Yeah, yeah. It's right, yeah, right there. there. In between the jar and the bag, right there. Next to the gift. Yeah. No, sir. Toy. Noise. Hi. The gift from the plants that got impregnated. We should have drew a face on him. We will. Next. <laughs> and next up in here, we got Adrian saying, I know I'm not tripping, but if you keep an eye on the left side of this video, you see an orb come in and through the sunroof area. Let's see. Bam. I don't see it. In the back. I think it was. Oh, that's oh, cool. Right there, that. you see? Where? 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 Oh, yeah. Wait, where? where? I... Right there. The right black. by Sal's piece head right here. Oh, wait, that's that's not the mouse. That's you. That's the oh, orb. Shit. No, that's not my mouse. My mouse is right here. Oh, shit. I see it. Right there. Sunroof up there. And then boom. that's a black orb, though, bro. That's <laughs> the, be ash. Wouldn't that be like ash? It could have been yeah. ash. Sometimes. No, ash don't fall that slow. Sometimes dude. it formulates like a thicker. Slope. No, look, because look, His look where it comes under- from. Look. And this is the full like speed right here. Oh, yeah. It starts by his ear. And yeah. it's not on film. Interesting. And it's See? moving at a pretty good click. Oh, you know. That's know. the old man. I digress. Cairo go. was in the car. Lesson, please. <laughs> that, that's the old no. man. There you go. Cairo was not in the car. The old man spirit. He's rolling around here. This is Kobe the fucking orb. <laughs> Kobe. Just threw it in the what middle. Did, what did you say, Ray? Ray says that shit's fake. Ah! That's our fucking video. How could it be fake? <laughs> it's something. Yeah. And then Dom it. yelled, Ray, you just edited the video. Yeah, you <laughs> edited the thing. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Ray? I mean, did you put it in there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. How was it fake? Ray's like fake news. <laughs> fake magic trick. Well, we don't know what that was. <laughs> but it was something. Call him out. <laughs> wow. And we got Audio X in here, a.k.a. Victoria <laughs> Pastouche. We'll leave it to Godfather to do that. Right? We got Victoria Pastouche up in here, and she's saying she's ripping some vape cartridges. She's got a vape pen that can rip two at one time. Yeah, that's the hollow point shotgun vape, right. I think. Huh. Rip it. When you really want that heavy smoke. I've been actually looking for those, man, but they all have wow. fucking distillate on there. Like, honestly, I, I like... Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, but you, all- Nothing's wrong with distillate. I like I like smoking distillate. It, like, whenever I, I'm, like, at a theme park or some shit where I actually need to smoke it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but but I like it when they put the live resin terps, yeah. like the actual wax, uh-huh. and they feel if I can get two of those on those cards... Yeah. Oh, man. You'd be winning. That's what you do. You blend the terps in with that. So if you had two different strains and you could have two different strains of, of carts right there yeah, yeah no but i mean like the light you know how like uh the the diamond sauce the yeah. little juice yeah. put like fill those two up in there just the juice that's mm-hmm. like straight fucking turp down bro oh man that'd be amazing. yeah that would be awesome yeah mm. have the right rig for that ideas and yeah. next up in here we got scenario saying hey guys long time listener and this is my first submission hopefully i did it right all right they call cool. me big b and this is my boy chente what's hey. up chente that fool looks mad as fuck he bro. Looks pissed hey. off. yeah and he's saying chente didn't approve of my role <laughs> he looks wow. high Ch- chente's keeping it 1000 dog hey, look at him. he's like what do you think that was like you gonna Definitely. send that shit in yeah he did <laughs> he's like, are you gonna light that come on his eyes are already red Dude, that's dope. <laughs> he looks like the dog version of Pachanga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, call him Changa. Yeah. He's got a concentrate wrap on that thing, it looks like. Looks kind of, yeah. Look like there's a, is that a worm on there or some sort? Uh-huh. It looks shiny. Yeah. 
the dog's like, hey, how's that? <laughs> He's got it's tight. That's a tight one. A lot tighter than that last one. That's yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll give that one an eight. Yeah, that's why it has wax on the side of it. That's why it has that glare. I saw. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. got a little sheen to it. Was it. All the way down. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little sheen to it. Wrapped it. You yeah, don't mind little... that. That's crazy. We got Chalico up in here with a little cherry pie and Chem Dog. All right. Where the nugs at, bro? That's that shit. It's very fine. <laughs> He's growing it. I know. He'll yeah. be there. She's new, man. <laughs> I know. I know. It's <laughs> good looking plant. Uh, who, who has the marijuana now? <laughs> good okay. leaves, a good, what was that? Cherry pie, did you say? That cherry that? pie and crossed good, with chem dog. Good indica, indica leaf. Cheese, bo bo cherry pie. Both strains you can't really find these days no more. It's by themselves. By themselves. Yeah, I mean, un uncrossed. Yeah, like by themselves, like how they were meant to be smoked. Yeah. 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 Like <laughs> just regular just yeah. cherry pie. It's crossed with something now. Yeah. Yeah, they're all crossed with something. They all fucking had orgies. Yeah. The last five years. Plant sex. Yeah. Well, you got to create exotics. I understand that, but streets. you also got to preserve like the original dinosaur. No doubt, that's art. not wrong either. Yeah, plant sex. I agree. Hey, just don't try to double cross me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see what you did there. It's like the one thing he said the whole episode. There's <laughs> like five. I think there's probably probably around a thousand strains now. Yeah, different strains of cannabis. No, there's way more, dude. There's like a book yeah, I bought that dude. had like all this shit in it. Yeah. Book is like two thousand pages in. I was like, yeah. no fucking way. Well, you know, people like options. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Sex. It's amazing. Yeah, options are good. Plants yeah. fuck a lot. Hey, sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sex. true medicine, man. Once you get those the, the right crosses, you can get them strains. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and we got Diggity Dank up in here, and he's asking for a joint submission. Oh. That's nice. That, it is nice. That's pretty good, man. Uh, I can't, you know, I can't see what the neck looks like because, oh, there you go. Bang. Bang. That looks like a nine. It's not, yeah. He it kills it. not close. He totally murdered it. Yeah. Otherwise, that it looks great. It's pretty fucking straight, man. I like it. From the neck up, there's a little bit of something, but that's. Do you mind if it's open like that? Like, could you? I don't care if it's open. To me, that looks clean. Yeah. It As an Aton, oh, you gotta flatten out the fucking top. <laughs> well, I, that, no. I, I'm OCD about that. You don't thing, really bro. have to. I fucking I I stop unless it's like all the way to the brim and it's firm. Right. Right. That's cool. But if yes. it's a little loose and it's going to be, no, I can't do that. I got to close it. <laughs> no, you, yes. If you're going to leave it open topped, it should be capped all the way to the top. Not right. fan. If you don't want to fucking, you know, do the do the Frankenstein move that like Aton and sometimes. Um, it's got to look like Sen Dog's Adrian. flat top. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. His cameo top. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best picture. In Ow. Word up. Word up. Oh, up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's how we do it next uh -huh. true and true. we got dj always bugging up in here saying had some leftover green butter so i made some green butter burgers oh wow yummy sock yeah. it to me he said green butter green, yeah. but, green would, butter would those have been dark enough for red <laughs> little I mean, more darker uh, oh i don't know i don't need i don't know those look pretty good right there that looks great throw a couple of mushrooms the ones we got here in there mm. i mean <laughs> with the butter already i mean look man like those mushrooms and you just put let's just say you put one in there that's gonna be a good meal bro you're gonna have a good that's meal. good right there that looks great yeah. i yeah. think i would do the green butter for sure i don't know about green mushrooms butter. in my i would definitely keep it heated up a little more i would do the shrooms. to keep going what do you yeah. flip it over a little not... bit <laughs> just real quick. you would go a little darker b little he bit. said heat it up dark. a little bit more <laughs> this is dark it's yeah. like done it's well done though let's yeah. send it back yeah, a little you know, bit more darker i like i like, I like is that weed on it or is this a, a, a seasoning is he saying he's got weed leaves in there too uh he's not saying <sighs> he's not no i no. think this is just something he's put, oh he's, he's just teasing us green butter no it, he, green butter is when it's uh, when it's butter that you make when you when you medicate it with that magic butter oh, shit yeah. okay. that's what yeah. you use there yeah. Yeah. that's it yeah. so it is medicated so is it the leaf yeah. in there too I would try this no I think that's yeah. a spinach but is he the butter is, the there. butter is the medicated oh yeah, yeah. no no I'm just wondering, it would have set it off if he would have added weed hello yeah yeah it's yeah. pretty good get some weed leaves looks pretty fucking delicious I'll say that I'm dude. You, I eat the whole plant, man. You gotta, you gotta use that whole plant. I think all so. the males, I pull them and juice them. They're so oh, that's good. dope. So good. Not. Everything. I, every, when it's done, I don't waste none of that, man. You, you drink. Take that it all in. Yeah. Eat it. Put it in your stuff, man. It, it's good. But you juice those plants. Mm. 
put them in a pot, boil them up. I have it in my, after every little harvest of my homegrown stuff, I put it in the refrigerator. I got a whole gallon of that. No oh, shit. Just drink on it. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. good, man. It flushed out. It's uh, uh, all the antioxidants in that are amazing. Yeah. You got to eat it more. Yeah. Yeah. Get it in the system. Fiber. True. It's the only plant that it gives iron. It has a massive iron content. Wow. Yeah. People just don't know. Mm -hmm. Damn. Crazy. I did not know that. Yeah. You get that from. Like meat. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Like blend it up in a smoothie or what? No, you just take your plants, boil them up in a, in a pot after you're done growing them. If you want to just grow them for that purpose, you'd be surprised at how amazing that juice is, man. Yeah. It's incredible. It's good for you. Yeah. Get you high. It can, I guess, you know, if you put some concentrate in there. But just high in iron. Itself. Yeah. High in high iron. Yeah. iron. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Try high saying that three times fast. <laughs> high in iron, high in iron. Yeah, high in iron. <laughs> it's like my language I don't want to <laughs> speak. Fuck. I, I digress. Uh, yeah, me neither. I don't want to do it. <laughs> 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 they got that whole restaurant in L.A. Have you been there? You've been there at that Wh restaurant. Which one? The, the one, one? That does weed. They use weed up there oh. at this restaurant in L.A. Lowe's? I don't know. What it's, is that what it is? Low, in, low bought it. Lowell's bought it. Was it in West Hollywood? Yeah. Like right yeah. there? Yeah. I think we went there. Yeah. We did a high and hungry there. Yeah, I, I didn't go there. They're using I heard about years it. Years ago. Right before the pandemic. Right before pandemic, yeah. Yeah. All right. And shout out to the Dominator for bringing in some of the birthday snacks. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Sugar. <laughs> Asuka. Asuka. Damn, look at all those. <laughs> he, even, he even found some cinnamon roll strudels. <laughs> cinnamon roll strudels. What's up with them strudels? Hey, you, you know, look. Uh, happy birthday to Bolton once again. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Bolton. Thank you. That's right. He he wants all the red row cupcakes. <laughs> Yeah, he was the, those or, or or by his def his his you know the way he calls them is the red row bup 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 bakes, bakes. <laughs> like chocolate bit bookies. That's right. He's got them bup bakes. <laughs> Everyone in the studio, you can eat this row. You can eat this row. You right. can eat these three, but if I catch anyone eating one of these, <laughs> I'm having Kyle throwing your ass out of here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> oh, the <Damn>. big boss! <laughs> oh shit! We're All gonna right. go on a mission later. I've thrown, Kyle. A, I've thrown, I've thrown a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! It happens <laughs> sometimes. And yeah. we got this sent in from uh, Aton. Uh -oh. Johnny Depp walking into his bedroom. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, that's, oh, that's like, hey. oh, good lord! Shit on the bed, huh? Unbelievable! That thing's on TV. She she done, yeah, house. you done shit the bed. Shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Are they getting paid for this thing? Like, I don't what, know, man. What is the whole? It's a defamation I, case, right? I know, but it, did they make a backdoor deal with like the ratings or something? I like, mean, off the off the chart. I think it's just like they uh, like made a big deal because it's vice versa this time it's like usually whenever somebody gets taken to court for something like that it's like the girl <laughs> and but you know, it's just, this seems so much like a boxing match where they like yeah. gone out and like hey look you know i'm gonna do this and so then we could just hype this up because we got a this <laughs> yeah <laughs> bunch of money seems that uh, so very crazy like uh, i was just on youtube before i like left here today and or before i came here today and uh, there was like half a million people in the room on YouTube watching that case. I was wow. like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah, people are watching that shit anywhere they can watch it. <laughs> oh, man, it's the one thing that's taken. <laughs> because the shit these I, folks are saying about not. each other and to each other right there in that courtroom <clears throat> is crazy. How different that's is right. that from, like, any messy divorce, though? You know what I mean? It's like, not, but it's like that. They say it all the time, yeah. but it's just yeah. because they're celebrities. It's yeah. too, the, but you know what? That case took all the heat off the Will Smith debacle. You know what I mean? Like, Quick. super quick so yeah. in a sense you know <laughs> we're, we're moving on which is a good thing yeah i mean yeah whatever some, but some serve a different way yeah indeed sir all right and next up in here we got ed g saying what up guys and cheers from the ie all right what up yeah ie i, -E. I yeah. see what that is that's uh Beard one of the character from the warriors War too though Come yeah on. awesome what were they called? The the baseball uh, uh, furies. Furies, not to be considered that's furries. Awesome. Yeah, where are they at in the IE? That's beer. That's a beer zombie brewery. I, I don't know exactly where, but I know they're big in the IE. Come Killer. Out and play. 
Yeah. You a beer, beer guy? You a beer guy? No. Never oh. uh, didn't never drank. I drank beer to just drink a beer with somebody here and there, you know, when uh, it's the right person. Cool. But that's it. I never drank beer. Never still don't drink. You know, Nothing. Pop did. bottles. No. Yep. No, never drank. Always weed. Yeah, it was just There's weed, trees. man. I never had a problem with uh, anybody doing what they want. Uh, and when weed came along, that was something that I appreciated a great deal and knew that it helped me. So I, I use it. It's a medicine. It always has been. It came to me medicinally, so I use it as it. But <laughs> if some people would say this is recreational, but it's not, you know. That would be a good shirt. Yeah. Weed helps. That's right. Life. Yeah. I never drank. I don't like drinking. I drank a couple of times. I got drunk down in Mexico a couple of times, and I'm not the guy you want drunk. <laughs> I like to jump off things. That's what they told uh -uh. you, huh? It's dangerous. Say, hey, look, uh -oh. man. Yeah. yeah. You're way too wild as shit. Wild. People, I would get accused of drinking all the time. <laughs> like in high school, my parents thought I was out drinking with my friends. Uh, when I was in college, everybody thought I was drunk at all the parties because I was just wild. You were just wilding yeah, out. I was just wild. All right. I was like, I don't need any of this. I'm fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could do all this shit without that. That's right. Hell Imagine. Yeah. And drive you home. They're like, That's you're right. the best, Kyle. <laughs> I, was, I was a great teammate. I remember driving. I was at a party down at PB, and my all my my buddies were like, hey, Kyle, this, this guy, our friend, needs to go home. We need to have somebody take him home, and we're all drunk. I'm like, cool, man. I'll give him a ride. Oh, no worries. Drove him down the street. We go in. I drop him off. He's like, hey, hold on a second. I'm going to be right back. I'm like, I thought I was dropping you off. He's like, no, man, I'm going to go back. Hold on. <laughs> he goes in and comes out running with a fucking tree <laughs> full of weed. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he's running with this thing, and I'm going... These motherfuckers, they set me up. <laughs> <laughs> he comes and gets in the car and throws it on the dash, and we're driving down the street, down in PB. I told this guy, I'm like, hey, look, at the cops, the lights hit. I, I, I'm fine. I'm going to jump out of this car while it's moving, and I'm going to run to the ocean, and I'm going to swim real far, because okay, I know <laughs> I can, and get away, and you're going to have stole my car. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. We get back to the place. We come in. I'm like, you motherfuckers, fucking, I'm about to get drafted, all these things in college, you know. I was like, you guys are setting me up, you know. Fucking Damn. Asshole. Ice cold. Yeah, little they did, did I know. They did not yeah. tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, mm. yeah. I didn't do nothing. I let them do everything. <laughs> yeah. Friends. These are IE foods? No, all my guys at San Diego State. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, down in San Diego State. I went to college down there at a, at a MoVal, Valley View High School, full scholarship down in uh, San Diego State. Was there for five years and then head out to the NFL. I know, man. Yeah, man. It was awesome. Hell yeah. That's all you guys. <laughs> all you guys come down there. You guys play Soma back in the day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I used to work there. Yeah. And I don't think I ever worked one of your guys' shows. Huh. Worked all the punk shows. Almost, uh, uh, I scared off uh, Pennywise one night. They, the, they thought that I was uh, attacking the lead singer. I was trying to get him back on stage. So, you know, uh, the guitar guy, what's his name? And he comes over and he kicks me in the back shoulder. And then the manager comes out, let him go. I'm like, jumped on stage and the whole band just scatters. <laughs> you were trying to help him out, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm a fan, motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes in the heat of the moment, yeah. like you don't really know. Yeah, I was always security and all those things, man. Yeah. The old arena, the old sports arena shows. Yeah, yeah. Those were killer. Yeah, those were crazy shows yeah. too. And you guys have done San Diego State. Yeah, a bunch, huh? Those are all yeah. I mean, we arena. still get we still get down there. We haven't been down there in a, maybe a you know since all the the shit started. But mm. um, they're building yeah. a new stadium. That's gonna yeah. be awesome. That's gonna be great. thirty thousand people. So Ooh, perfect we. for bands. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, word up. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Bolton. And shout out to uh, Kelly Blaze's fiance for bringing in the uh, Ropa Vieja. All right, you said yeah. that right. All yeah, right, look at that. Yeah. But this, this is not for you, this is for her. This applause is for her. That's amazing. Although you said that right. Yeah, that it was great. It was great. I Delicious. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, Valerie, that's good looking out. Yes, food. thanks, Val. Oh, that'll cure anything right there. It that, will. That's the oh. cure for COVID, right? You are yeah. not right. Straight up. <laughs> not, not wrong. No, that straight shit up, is... bro. If you sat in a room and you ate that every night for a week, <laughs> oh, man. You, you would feel... You would cure anything. Bro. Yeah. Look at all that. That'll shit. get you through life right so there. Except oh. obesity. 
No, there's. Uh, well, you got to work out. No, yeah. you're, you're no. like, you got to keep no, busy. He, he said he's like, if you sat yeah. there and ate that every day, I'm like, yeah, no, for care. like a week. I'm saying, like, look at all that. You know how much vitamin C is in one slice of a jalapeno? More than an orange, an entire orange. Dude, you know your vegetables, man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, bro. Hey, when you're addicted to the pharmaceutical teat for 25 years, and then the, a plant saves your life, you start to look at what other plants can do. Yeah, that's dope. You do that. You start doing bro, the all diligence. Those, all those peppers, man. Those are so healthy. Yeah. Yeah, those live foods, right? That's that's. Bro, 48. I'm giving 48 hours. If you took that. You, that's that's a part of the, the alkaline diet, right? <laughs> like the peppers and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah everything. All that is good for you. Yeah. Fights off cancer. Yeah. The alkaline diet. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, a friend of mine turned me on to those uh eating those peppers, you know, in the morning. First thing when you know, go out, go out and skate, just go, yeah. you know, and eat one of those and you just feel it just it gives you like natural boost of like just like you feel like fuck yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Oh yeah. I'm full of nutrients, everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, superfoods. So Soup that, there you right. go. Boom. <laughs> that's what that's what the I meant to describe it earlier, yeah. but I'm a little stoned, so <laughs> yeah. You know. I, you know, I'll I'll say I'm right there with you, yeah. sir. Okay. Who'd you used to skate with back in the day? Just by myself. No, I was. Where'd you grow up at down here? Uh, I think Baco, yeah. Bakersfield. Oh wow, yeah, that's hard back then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the biggest skater that came out of Baco was Chris Boris. He was in yeah. actually he was in um, Pal Peralta. He was on Pal Peralta for a minute. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we used to just go skate around town and just. That's awesome, man. Listen to our Walkman. Baker's for. Yeah. Word up. Yeah. And we got Goom Sun up in here saying, got to get right with the beat nuts funky. Big up to Psycho Legs. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got it on his, you know, MPC. Oh. Trying to get some work in. Hey, man. Goom Sun. Hey, he sent those records. Oh, he sent the records? And those records are fire. I Thank bet you. they are. No doubt. Salute. Salute. Yeah, Goom Sun, what up? That's fat. <laughs> and next up in here, we got JK all the way in Scotland saying, watching the show. Right on. And they got the King Palms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready. Awesome. He's doing what are the good. laws in Scotland? Yeah. Where's weed at in Scotland? It's worldwide. Right? We need to know. They get it. This guy knows. The guys in the back will tell us here. Never mind. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you got all these movements around the world, man, and they're all, you know, with everything going on here. It's awesome. They're all connected. If that Dank of England, you what you follow those guys? It's no. big movement over in the UK, Dank of England. No. Oh, shit, big shout out then. Jeez, they're gonna love me. <laughs> yeah. Salute to the Dank, Dank, of, yeah, Dank, Dank of, of England. England. That's right. Yeah. I mean, Netherlands is like it's like California and Europe, pretty much. So they get everything from there. If, if you're in Germany or Switzerland, or, I mean, Switzerland got some good shit. But Yo, I gotta yeah, check them do. out. Oh, these guys are all fighting hard, man. Pushing. Yeah. Hell yeah. And we got Jimmy up in here saying, Wu-Tang Grand ain't nothing to fuck <laughs> with. <laughs> Damn. Damn. No, Grand's ready. Granny's gangster. Uh, Wu-Tang Grand. Wu-Tang Grand ain't nothing to fuck <laughs> with. She's left-handed. Bro, I'm going to give it to you. She's left-handed. I got her. <laughs> I had Papa Rock shock the nation. <laughs> That's fucked up. She's letting it off. And we got J Max C up in here saying caught snacks all the way up in Toronto this morning. Oh, the snacks. 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 What you doing, man? He's snacking on something. T Dot. The Hawk. The Hawkeye. Look at him. He's like, I ain't been nowhere. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Don't test me. I'll have to answer to you. He said next. <laughs> and we got Con <laughs> we got Conrad up in here saying much love from Sweden. And when I got the Yoda joint. Oh, oh that's, shit. That's, that's killer. Good. That is a good one. That's cool. The, oh. the, what up, Discord? Oh, shout to our Discord Please. right there. Yeah, Salute the to the Discord. Tip, but yeah, there's a Yoda joint. Don't yeah. rush the show. <laughs> Don't rush the show. Does the funky feel tip uh, fit perfectly on a Lego? It's um, so cool. Let me see. Go to the hand. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh -oh. it's looking like it. Uh -oh. oh no, no, that that's the lightsaber's attachment. So yeah. that little that opening fits inside the hole of a ten mil. So that's how it's so perfect in there. Yeah, collab. There, yeah. there it is. Lego collab. <laughs> Bring Toys R Us back. 
<laughs> it is coming back. Somebody bought it, and they're working on bringing it back in the yeah. next five years. Put a high saber in there. Bring yeah. Oprah back. Jeffrey G- Giraffe, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> Probably going to be gentrified now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. We got Element up in here with some Luigi OG, and she sa- or he's saying it's on point. It looks like it's on point. That's a lot of trichome. Oh. Mm. Look at that. That's a lot of trichies. Some good broccoli right there. I know. I sold it to him. Oh, oh. No. That's what <laughs> makes your fingers sticky. Icky, icky. Yeah, look at that, man. Ooh. He's yep. smoking. Yeah. White ash, too? White ash, too, Bro. yeah. Look at all that resin on that tip. Yeah, that's nice. Damn. Building up. It's Damn. enjoyable. Damn, Daniel. Shit that's, is that's enjoyable. Like smoke. The joy of smoking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it right there. You I like smoke. You can't get that, though, In unfortunately, with all these regulations. And much. I mean, it's so hard to get that these days with uh, all these regulations. Those super killer, juicy, oh, they're making drippy it buds, man. The, all these regulations. It's insane. That's why black market's thriving. <laughs> yeah. like, dude, you just need to uh, let us have a few more nutrients and uh, other things uh, here with this program. And Yeah. We got McLovin up in here, and That's he's true. saying insane alien brain for the win. And he's asking, what's all your favorite insane strains? I haven't tried this one yet, but. I haven't tried that yet either. I like all of them. Gotta try. Uh, all, yeah. Great answer. That is a good answer. Um, mm-hmm. uh, the Mamba Juice is really good. Yeah. It's great. But this alien brain, I've had it. Of course I have. Cause I picked it. Um, that shit is fire <laughs> right there. Uh, you know, beam me up is one of the best. Beam me ups go good too. Uh, it's really heavy, and uh, of course, insane OG. Mm-hmm. And McLovin's saying he still has to go with Godfather Bermuda and Holland Space Cake. Holland Space Ooh, Cake. Yeah. Holland Space Cake's good. Damn. And we got yeah. Mike Phillips They're up in here good. saying. We got Mike Phillips up in here saying, yo, snacks, if you ever got beef and eat back up in the ocean, oh. my Pelicans got yo back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> what noise does a Pelican make? Outstanding. Fly, Pelican, fly. Fly, fly Pelican. Dude, snacks is like, all right, then. The funny part in that movie is that he's fucking he's talking to a flamingo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> snacks is popular today because Mr. Miller up in here saying caught snacks slipping this morning. Ah, oh. thought he was about to shit on my <laughs> whip. That's a pigeon, bro. That word. That's a big Damn. old fat Look ass at, pigeon. Hey, yeah, yeah, that is like that, a fat that, ass pigeon. That, bro. that pigeon been eating right hey, there, boy. Hey, that chest is a little too brown. The baby chicken <laughs> compared to snacks. <laughs> <laughs> snacks look like it's, it's a look at well-fed fucking <laughs> pigeon, son. <laughs> Pigeon on swole. And we got Punk Posse up in here, and he's just saying, it needs to be darker. Oh, oh, oh. man. Oh, hey. man. That's, that's burnt. Hey, that, them biscuits. Oh, char. Yeah, that's a lot of char this, right there. The real reason you're craving burnt food. <laughs> a little scrapey. You, uh, you okay? Yeah. Shout out to Red Man. <laughs> what Les said. You scrape it off a little bit, you can salvage it. Yeah. Scrape it, scrape it. Old school style. I guess there's some uh, help you can't scrape that turkey though. Charcoal, man. Tortillas yeah. Or Filter. Oof. Right. I try to tell them, dude. You got. You got to <laughs> like that. <laughs> you got to like that char. Yeah. Charry taste, but a lot. <laughs> well, you know, there's there's a part. Yeah. There's a point you can when you're making tortillas when you're warming up tortillas and you get that little burnt little. Crispy little, you know what I mean, but I not too it. much. Yeah. I love it too, yeah. you know what I mean, but like you don't want just to get enough. it like that. Yeah. Just, just enough, a, just enough. It's it's a perfect yeah. blend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes, I would agree with that. That's a good compliment on certain things, and yeah. that's one of them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. And I saw this in the YouTube comments. Red man calling banana peppers bananas was fucking hilarious. <laughs> 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 Okay. He said, "What are them little fucking bananas? <laughs> Those are the smallest bananas I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> they have little bananas. They got many bananas. Now, but not like uh, banana pepper size. Yeah, banana <laughs> pepper <laughs> size are pretty small. I've seen some small bananas, but uh, not like that size. Fuck. What? <laughs> and saw this on the billboard on my drive here. 
the king of brochures. Ah, yeah. The brocha standing tall, man. Look at that. I got to. Yeah. You eat the bar or the bar eats you? Barbecue. <laughs> barbecue, that's what that says to you. Sorry. Sam Elliott says Sass- barbecue. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> Sarsaparilla and barbecue. The dude abides all night. This has sunflower seeds. And the brocha. Brocha. Cigarettes. <laughs> Cigarettes. Cigarettes. That's what that shit says yeah, to me. That's like. what that looks Marlboro like. Marlboro Man. Marlboro. <laughs> he's badass. Oh, shit. Yeah, he love that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's dope. Icon. And we got White Rhino from Down Under saying, got some light-skinned food. Oh, some Vegemite. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, I will no, not be okay, having no. that. Thank that, you. Is nope. that what a Vegemite sandwich is? It's That's vegetable. what that looks like, what yeah. It's Vegemite. Ding, 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 ding. It's Vegemite. You know that song? <laughs> That uh, that's met, down, uh, yeah, from uh, what minute work, call? minute work, yeah, Australia, the Vegemite sandwich, Vegemite sandwich. Oh. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you said something else. Who we thought they were selling something. Yeah. That that one? No, no, no. It's yeah. uh, is it? Is it? Who can it be now? That one though. No. Yeah, they uh, they do that one too. Uh, yeah, so it's not in that song though. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it would be uh, yeah. It's minute work. Who can it be it, now? It's no. is it no. It, oh. No, that's one of their big songs. They had a couple of big songs. Yeah, Down Under, right? I come, I come from, from the land, land down, down Under. under. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, look, see, we snapped in right there at the yeah. same time. You heard that? That was like, yeah. Because I thought of their, I was like, they had another huge hit, and it was, was down that down song, though? Mm-hmm. Down yeah, that's a good song. The Vegemite yeah. Sandwich? Yeah, that is. I come from a land under. I said, anyway. do you speak of my language? <laughs> yeah. that's that, what is that? What is Vegemite, though? What the hell was that? It's like a spread. It's not peanut butter. It's not fucking jelly. It's, made it's of bugs. Vegemite. And it's, like it's from some plant funk, or something, right? It's some like paste? Some, yeah, some funky ass paste. Yeah. Nasty that, ass paste. That they like over there, yeah. but we could not fuck with it here. It's made from leftovers <laughs> brewer's yeast extract with uh-uh. various vegetables and spice additives. <laughs> that's that's oh. quite a description. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like that word yeast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeast. <laughs> Squeeze on that yeast. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Yeast, yeast, yeast infection. Tell me this. <laughs> And we got Young Lung Lars up in here saying mac and cheese out the oven just in time for today's show. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, that's there you go. Was, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Ooh, a little, a little, uh... You should have left it in a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That that's good. good. I like that right there. Mm-hmm. That looks creamy. You can't overdo it. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't have these overburnt. Can't. Yeah, no. But... That looks good. I like the crispy edge, though. Yeah. Yeah. Crispy edges are acceptable. It's important. Mm -hmm. You need that. I told them. Shout to Young Lung Lars, and that seems to be it. All right. Thank you for the submissions. Keep them coming to Be Real TV Contest at gmail.com. We run them on the daily. So if you send them, we run them. If they don't get on the day you sent them, they'll get on the next day. And I was going to say, too, we also got the uh, Cypress Hill Insane in the Brain. Official post-screening question and answers dropping at midnight tonight. That's right. We do. Oh, yeah. Right here on this site. Make yep. sure you check it out. Or the site. Yeah, it, it'll be at bereal.tv and right here on YouTube. So make sure you check it out. True. I told him. Yeah. Did you? I sure did, bro. Word up. Uh, look, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, take time to do that right now. And most especially before you go, I know you're stoners like we are. You might forget, but we want to take this time to remind you. Smash that like, smash the subscribe, and crush the all notification bell. And get down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? And um, join us and share the show out. Build the community. Um, leave a comment and um, all that. Yeah. So. Just a friendly reminder. And uh, salute to everybody watching us on Discord, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. And our homepage, BeReal.TV, because we are broadcasting there as well. So mm-hmm. four platforms at once. That's incredible. Yeah. We're doing it like that. That's impressive, man. Work. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so we're going to open up the doors to the Insane Asylum. That means y'all right here uh, on YouTube, if you got a question, comment, suggestion or shout out right about 
now is the time to get it out. All right, via awesome. super chat. Let's go. Welcome to the insane asylum. Let's do this. Let's do this. We got date night dash night up in here saying I got five flips for the podcast to show my appreciation for the show. Let's see. Best podcast, period, and shout out to everyone. Well, thank you. Did he send a video? Salute. I uh, know, but he might be in the Discord somewhere. He's in the Discord right here. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come to you after this, and we'll show your five flips. So be ready when, we're, when we ask for you. And uh, a lot of people in the Tain Asylum are saying, B, did you finish your flips? <laughs> what do you mean, did I finish my flips? Yeah. Of course I did. What, you want me to do more? Is that what you <laughs> <laughs> Did 20 fucking flips. How many did I owe? Did I owe 25 or 20? No, I don't know. I was just asking you. 25, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not taking your word for it. <laughs> I'm not taking your word. Did I owe 20 or 25? Chat room, let them know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll get back to that. We'll get back sec. to that. If I owe the, uh, another five, I will do it. Gonna have to pay. You tell Hawk says twenty five. Oh, fuck oh off. shit! <laughs> Are you serious, Hawk? You gonna do me like that? <laughs> right. Everyone's saying twenty five. Of I'm course. Sorry. <laughs> guys are. Dom bastards. just said thirty. Wow. Oh, what? Oh damn. damn. Well, we got Barina Barina up, and you're saying happy birthday, Bolton. Thanks for the laughs, blood. Winky face. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Winky face. Huh? <laughs> Happy birthday. Outstanding. Happy, Happy birthday. And we got date night dash night back up in here saying, not you guys doing flips. I'm doing flips for you guys. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what I meant. We're going to go back to you so we could see you if you're in the Discord and see you take your flips. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and we got Twackalack up in here saying, What's Twack and Bolton? Bappy birthday, man. <laughs> Bappy birthday. Happy birthday. But I'm unclear. Do I still owe five flips? I believe so. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up. That was just a reminder. Load me up. I don't got... want to owe no one anything. I was going to say, We got June 37 up in here saying, Hey, Kyle, your sleeve looks sick. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Actually, got this bottom part. People think this is an extension of the American flag. This is actually the Mexican flag. I got that in La Paz to finish that sleeve. Got that right after 9-11, after uh, I was going to join the Marines, and uh, they told me not to <laughs> by way of a uh, fight in the parking lot with the head coach. <laughs> oh, wow. Shit. So I went and got a tattoo. It's what I could do. Right on. And, uh, sorry. And we got Wally G up in here saying, ask Kyle about his music experience. That's right. You play music. How many yeah. How many instruments you play? I play guitar and drums. <clears throat> Dope. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, played, I did some country stuff. I've done some metal stuff. My projects have been, I uh, uh, did a thrash metal band in Arizona, Perpetual Death Mode. Damn. Uh, Sick. <laughs> and then I, I, I did another Doom Metal project, Delta Doom, right here. We were we were out with uh, Jägermeister. We toured with, like, Crowbar and those guys. You've done some dope collabs. Dude. Oh, that's yeah, rad, man. I, I was drumming and singing in that. Uh, we threw it down at a show up on the strip at the Whiskey. It was awesome. And then uh, I do my country project, you know, country music. I've always had that. I grew up, my dad was a truck driver and a cop. And so I did, uh, you know, country music, something that just was resonating. I was a huge metal head and all, but country music and being able to express myself just was you know i guess the white guy in me so <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> you know i love metal i'll probably be doing some more projects here in the future with that and you know hopefully doing some more touring but got some shows coming up in june in louisiana doing a killer little louisiana boot tour with hank four hank williams the fourth uh you go to stagecoach Man, they, they haven't, I hadn't gotten to Sagecoach yet. You know, I had these agents called CAA, you know, and they recruited me out of college and then uh, went to them with my music career in Nashville. And uh, they threw me a few shows, you know, opened up for Leonard Skinner and uh, Eric Church and all these big acts and did all the festivals in the South and, and all these deals, toured coast to coast for about five years. And then the health thing got in the way, dizzy in the hospital, having seizures and all these things from football brain stuff until I 
fix this with this plant. And now back getting after my, you know, music, just stayed out here in Cali, but now I'm back in Nashville full time. I moved back there. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get back to that and the country project will take another opportunity to go somewhere and we'll be a stagecoach here in the future. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That'd be the, that's the goal. <laughs> Little Nas. Yeah, we just played a uh, weed con. Uh, weed con. I played, oh, I did weed con. No, uh, and then Kush Kush Fest. Oh, yeah. right on. Yeah, or Kush stock. Sorry, Kush stock. I yeah, that Kush was stock. just like yeah. a couple weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but oh, yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did that up there. That was awesome. Hi. So, oh yeah, yeah, music. Kush stock. I think it was really. Yeah, I love music, man. It's always been a part of, you know, everything I've been doing. Uh, drumming wise, who is someone you uh, that influenced you? Um, man, I mean, psycho lazy. Yeah, Psycho-le- yeah, it was psycho less. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you got uh, uh, who's the drummer? Uh, blanking names now with my Brad Brain with the uh, uh, drummer for Slayer. I think he's hands down the greatest drummer of all time. Period. Dave Lombardo. Dave Lombardo. Damn it, Dave Lombardo. I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, he's the man. Yeah, and then uh, I don't know, man. After that, uh, talent wise, I love drums, so I, I I pay attention to it. And my boy Roy, who's out with Ministry right now, and he's drummed in all these other bands out there from Sepultura to everybody or in uh, Soulfly and all these other bands uh, you know that you when you think of drums you think of bands like that in yeah, metal you know for sure in metal and stuff so. I'll tell you what Dave Lombardo had a style of his own Woo! he created a lane of, of drumming it's insane Those you know, just like rappers create like like we were talking about the other day with late yesterday with Red Men where you know certain rappers birthed styles yeah. Right, like if this rapper doesn't come out, you know, certain styles don't exist. Yeah, you know what I mean. And Dave's like one of those guys in terms of drumming. Man, like the shit he did on those er- on that early out al- the early albums, the, was crazy. All those Slayer records he's on, man, yeah. changed everything. Every, yeah, yeah, everything. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, the style of drumming just just every he, drummer should tell you that. I would say. Yeah, I don't. I mean, and that's real shit though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it, so they gotta know it. Yeah, dude, and when you see him play, it's so effortless. But and he's having so much yeah. fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> like he makes it look like nothing. Dude, he's the best. But, he, but he's yeah. but he's having fun doing it. Salute to to Dave. Yeah, yeah. Dave Lombardo, man. Yeah, big time. Oh gee. All right. Mm. Uh, we what? got Mr. Phantasm up in here saying, "Yo, Kyle, as a Jets fan, watching that game as a kid was awesome." <laughs> That was so rock and roll when you tossed Robinson's helmet. Thanks for the memories. I'll never forget. You were a badass of the league. Thank Thank you. I appreciate that. Great great moment. Excellent. Hey, there it is. The locks, even. (laughs) Damn. The good old days. He said, fuck your helmet. Glory days. There you go. (laughs) Say, yo, fuck your (laughs) helmet, son. Yeah. Uh, Hey, go get it. It's going in the stands. I was hoping, yeah, I was hoping that. My aim was the 50-yard line. It got caught on my tape. You see, I was offensive of lineman. I got my fingers all taped up, and it got caught, and it went off to the side. That's why you see me go, ah, fuck. <laughs> I was like, damn it. It went off to the side. I was trying to throw it down the center of the field. So he'd have to walk his punk ass down there and get that helmet. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my helmet. Everybody thinks it was mine. That's a Jets helmet. It was still a good toss, though. Yeah, you know. It made an offensive lineman famous. That's what it did. <laughs> There's only a few people with the offensive linemen ever get the cover of Sports Illustrated. I was pretty fortunate to. Now, would you get fined for that, or that was? I, I got fined twenty five thousand dollars for God that. God damn! What? Yeah, but they would have probably kicked me out of the league at the way they do things now. Yeah. They, uh, I mean, uh, that f- whole incident. It's too aggressive. If, if you watch that whole, I mean, I'm fighting for like five minutes. It's like a UFC round. <laughs> I'm just, I got 10 dudes on top of me, and I'm just like underneath grabbing this dude's face mask. I'm choking him under the pile. And then uh, all these people are jumping on and everything, and I'm just dragging the pile. Like 10 guys are just <laughs> going like this for like five minutes. And then I creep out, <laughs> crawl out of there. With the, and I, his head was attached, you know. He's probably under there, like, get this off. Because <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, I don't care if your head's in this motherfucker. I'm coming out with it, you know. Damn. Yeah. It's my trophy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh-huh, that's sick. That's crazy. Sparta. Yeah. Sparta. Yeah. yeah. This it is great. Sparta. Hey, every, uh, I was walking out the field and they were chanting Turley, the whole stadium. Nothing like that. I was like, like that's, that's some different yeah, it was crazy stuff crazy. right there, man. Super dope. Salute. I like it. 
And we got Dennis up in here saying, I'm in the vi new video, come with me, thanks to Mr. DL. It was a blast. Thank you all for everything you do for us fans. A hey, salute to Mr. DL. Dope video. Hell yeah. See you in new and he's saying, see you in New Hampshire for the VIP at Not Fest, and you're the best. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes. We got mad ways and, up in... Oh, hold on. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, go to Cypress Hill um, Cypress Hill YouTube and check that video. Come with me. It's uh, by Ma Mr. DL, one of our longtime homies. Uh, he did a great job. If you haven't checked it, go check it and make sure you like it, leave a comment, all that stuff. You know what to do. But I'm just giving you the heads up. And next up in here, we got mad ways saying happy B-Day Bolton salute from Southgate Blood. Damn. Getting a shout out from, from the hood. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> and we got Rob, we, I was going to say, we got Rob Garcia up in here. Thank you so much for the super chat. And we got Junior up in here saying, yo, be real. What you think about our dubs? We on to the next round. Thank you all for all the positive energy from the crew. Y'all make my day. Hell yeah. Words. Good stuff, man. We'll take those dubs all day. You and know how it go. Was that the guy who like he was playing in the finals or some shit? He super chatted it before, right? Mm. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. cool. Congrats, man. Congrats. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we got Shadow up in here saying it'd be dope to be remade into usable glass art. I'd hope my relatives would still bring me along to the family gatherings. There you go. Yeah. And what if your relatives broke you? <laughs> Wouldn't be the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pipe being smoked and I can't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dude, it's they a just, whole other perspective. They're smoking more than weed through me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> this isn't weed. This isn't weed. And people use those things for other things to put them in places. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, he's got a point. I didn't think of that. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, better, you might have to put that in your will. Like, only a peace pipe. Something like, to think about. Shaped like. <laughs> shaped like. No butt plugs. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Stipulations, they call it. <laughs> Stipulations. <laughs> Stipulations. <laughs> Next. Wow. And we got Date Night Dash Night back up in here saying, I'm going to do flips for you guys. I'll cam up on Discord, earning my place at the table. All right, let's go check it right now. Go okay, go. Boom. Yeah, go right there. Now, dude. Fuck I'm, waiting. Let's see. I want to go right to right Oh, shit. He's oh, and he wants to play us a song while he does Date Night Dash Night. All right, ah, let's yeah. unmute him. Oh, I thought he was gonna play some. Oh. Is he gonna play? Some? Oh, he's gonna do his yeah. dabs first. That he was gonna that. play the bomb. All right, give him some. Give us some levels here. Look at hell yeah, dude! Give do it. Give us some levels. We gotta unmute him there. Yeah. He's gotta unmute himself. Oh, you gotta yeah. unmute yourself, buddy. I mean, I know you're toggling here, trying hey, to multitask. Imagine. Oh, he's got the flower. He godfathers it. Okay, here he goes. Number one. one. <laughs> hey, by the way, Jimmy's awake. Always a good time. All right. Get it. Get it. Up. Shout out Jimmy. Number Shout two. out Racky. Shout out. What's homie over there? Jibby. Yeah. Luis. All right. Luis. Rocky. Number three. What out? <laughs> Number four. See, that's the thing about doing flour. You got to stay packing it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, do 10. He said five. Num number five. <laughs> Num number 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 five. Num number five. Number number five. What number? Finish it, dude. Number five. <laughs> oh my god. I could have sworn. I don't go higher than six. But you know, we're taking it to the god number if we're taking it, right? Yeah. Number yeah. seven. I better see one more. There we are. All right, at the god number. Okay. Oh shit, he's going past the god. <laughs> what he's, he's like? On the eight. He's on the, smoke? He's on the box car here. Is he oh, going for shit. tenderness? Yeah, he's, he's going for tenderness. Ow! I gotta tell you, if you're gonna do this, leave the flower out of it. Just go concentrate. Because you have to clean the hose too. Oh, my yeah. god. This, Where's he at though? He's still going. He's at, he's, this is at 11. This is 12 right here. Dude, after this, he's gonna be ready to rock. All right, he's in oh, our. All right, that's great. Let's give it to him. Got to give him flowers for that. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. 
so long, my All right, man. hey, wait. Un- un- unmute him real quick. Let's let's hear he what has, he's he got. He has to, to unmute yeah. himself. Yeah. You got to unmute yourself right quick. We want. He don't even know where he's at right now. <laughs> <laughs> sure he does. Uh, uh, Maybe he don't. He's so upset. You may have to go into your settings no. on your phone and open up your mic. He socks yeah. the screen. No. He's socking his phone. Motion, Pictionary. Let's but we'll, go. we'll get back to you, man. We'll get back to you. Come on, man. He, he's not. He's, on he's his yelling laptop. at his phone. Uh, yeah. Let he's me party okay. with you. All right. <laughs> Come on. All right. Keep it moving. Next. <laughs> And hand, we got D- gestures. We got DMT up in here saying anonymous pilot here. We definitely fly sky high. All right. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. Awesome. We're Bro, that's coming. Right. And we got Sven up in here. Thank you so much for the super chat. Shout out to Sven. 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 He likes stunning gloss. Sven Dunk. <laughs> Pilots are high. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Sven. Love that. <laughs> And we got Hector in here saying, yo, Cypress. Yeah. Good documentary on Showtime. Keep on pushing and one love. Thank mm-hmm. you, sir. I appreciate that. Yes. Salute to Estevan Oreo. Did a great yeah. job on that. You want to pass this down to, to the big bro? Yeah. Oh, thank Outstanding. You. Outstanding. Thank you. We're heard. True. And we got revamped wrestling up in here saying, Sapo Verde to you, Bolton. At least you said it right. Sapo Verde. There we See. go. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just need to roll the R. It's cool. Sapo Verde. <laughs> that's get that's closer. That's as close as you've ever been. Yo, Kyle, can you roll your R's? Sapo Verde. My R's? <laughs> there you go. R's, I, I lived in Mexico for uh, a full year, almost two, running a business. That's how you learn how to speak Spanglish. <laughs> <laughs> you could yeah, definitely su- learn it there. Suficiente uh, para negocios. He, uh, oh, you got the R down. He got the R down. You heard <laughs> oh, that, see, Bolton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so see, I can see, learn. I can learn. He can learn. It's necessary <laughs> para negocios. See, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And we got, uh, let's see here, we got Joe up in here saying, on Doug Benson smoke box at 1057, there is a spot. Right after B says Chocolope, from the center to from the center top to the in front B in between his body and hands. And I think he's talking about an orb. The smoke- on, on, on which smoke box? The Doug Benson. That's the old car. Another orb? Yeah, well, That's you right. know, in this building, we we have energies in here. What's the car from? Where's the car? Oh no, that's that's my car. This one was in a different car, but oh, yeah. it's it's not necessarily the car. It's the the actual building that we filmed it in, which uh-huh. is this building. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, there's a number of energies. Well, if it's an old car, if it's an old car, though, it could have been an old dude's. You know, has his car and he lost his it there and he died. Is... Well, that's the that's that could be too. Corn, corn bought. Uh, uh, What's his name's car? Yeah. The dude Ooh. from Corn bought that guy's car. Yeah. Uh, John, it was uh, John Gacy, right? No. Oh, Whose no, car did he uh, buy that? No, uh, the other Ted Bundy? Ted, no. Ted Bundy, yeah. I no, saw it wasn't, that. Was it Ted Bundy? Yeah, it was yeah, the Ted bug. Bundy. It Ted was Bundy. the It was the, the bug. bug. The Beetle. Yeah, yeah bought, the Beetle. Yeah, the I saw beetle. that car. Yeah, he bought that car so he could do trippy shit in it. Yeah. Dude, it had energy <laughs> to it, man. No, we've seen shit happen outside of the car. Yeah. Yeah, like up there where these guys are out in the watchtower and... Our green room, and we haven't seen him like yeah. fuck around here yet. But no. uh, it's got a history. Yeah. But I guess you know they're seeing orbs in the car. Doug Benson, huh? Hey, send us that clip where you see it at the orb box. <laughs> the orb box. <laughs> the orb box. Boom. 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 And we got Faya Ute up in here saying, "Let us set our goals too high." Let us demand more of ourselves, and we believe we possess. And he's saying, bless up and more life. Believe in goal. That's right. That's mushroom talk right there. <laughs> that's that's, that's ma- manifest better things for yourself. Yeah. No, that's I know, but I'm just saying, like, he, that, that's that's some positive shit you'll say on mushrooms. Yeah. Mushroom tea. Yeah. Why not? Uh, <laughs> but those are, good, those are good things to plant in your mind right there. I told him, dude. Power. Yeah. Powerful words. That's right. And we got Dallas Hill up in here saying, just hit the stunning for the first time, but it was with flour and concentrate. Oh, wow. Mm. Holy you shit, respect to y'all. You could do that, too. Um, we have this this different nail here that um, 
G Pen sent us. It's it's a prototype style thing, but if you're using a connect, right? You could you could use a G Pen connect on this or, you know, some sort of email and do the perpetual hits like we do on concentrate on this thing. These are the business for that. <laughs> Just saying. Just and letting y'all know. Technology. Tech. You can't put butt in this one. This one. Yeah, you can. Put a yeah. Ball. Not not in this thing, but hey, you can use the, the, the attachment yeah. and do butt on it. Yet. You know what I yeah. do? I, I usually I put a, I put a, a nail like that on mine. Like how they're on the rig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it just one that one fucking flip is the flip. The flip. Damn. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, it, 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 yeah. Yeah, let it build. No, Instead it, of doing 20 gonna, flips, yeah, just that, let it build in one. That's only going to give you one fucking solid hit after you do it. It's yeah, give you like course. two or three, but that one flip is the one. I got you. And we got Marbell up in here. What up, Marbell? He's saying, Colton Strawberry Quick O'Malley. <laughs> I'm going to drop you off at Kelly Park for your so-called surf day. <laughs> All means wear red if you see some people wearing blue, and good luck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, he's he's trying to serve you right there, oh. Bolton. What Mar you going to do? Marbell, I went through Green Thumb University, so you know I got the funk. When I talk to your mother, I be grabbing my junk. Oh. Don't test me, Marbell. Quit trying to stunt. I'll be blooding down your block, and I'm on the hunt. Oh, man. I'll be blooding down your block. Blood. Does he have, like, these anecdotes, like, just Blood. right in there? Like, well, who? Hey, Bolton's ready for, <laughs> he's ready for Marbella. I'm going to say Dom time. is ghostwriting for him. <laughs> I mean. Uh, Dom is ghostwriting yeah, I wanna, for nope. him. I'm going to put my money yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't confirm nor deny. What, what does that mean today, though, right? I grew up, we had re real, real things, man. What does that Dude. mean today, man? Come on. Oh, the, yeah. you know, these two guys have, you know, yeah. <laughs> they have a thing go, going yeah. on in yeah. the chat room with each oh, other. That's it's an ongoing. But seriously, though, it's the getting whole, carried away now. The whole thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a free safety. He would he, he had to transfer from Ohio State because they're like he's too he won't stop banging. Yeah. <laughs> oh he's, wow. He's throwing these th blood up. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Big it's time out there on the field, like you know, like everybody. And he came back to San Diego State was just murdering people. When you get to the level of of where you're trying to be, like if you're trying to be a professional athlete or or you know a musician or an actor or whatever you gotta let all that crazy crazy shit go yeah. like you cannot stay connected to it because yeah. eventually well, no. every everything you work hard for it it could drag all that shit down oh 100 percent. yeah they just need to let them know what it's all really about yeah then it can all come together exactly right <laughs> yeah right and we got sven back in here saying happy birthday bolton a nice shout out to crow bar bro Right on. And we got Midget Mike up in here saying, Kyle, any wild stories from San Diego State? <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I was the sober one, so, but I drove everyone everywhere. So, you know, my eyes were uh, wide open and uh, fully conscious uh, and to witness everything. So, uh, any scenario you could think of from. You, you witnessed the crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, just things, you know, yeah, like real things like that, like going down to Tijuana to, with uh, guys that wanted to do steroids and did want to take that route to go buy steroids do in the bathroom go get a steak and lobster dinner down in the you know the shops down in the underground down in tijuana right? Yeah. right and and then go back across the border i mean that was going down to taking money from agents and all these other crazy things uh getting cars getting apartments getting money cash this that the other seeing all the things that you see you know that you see in the movie like it's a hundred times, like what it's you actually see. for real. <laughs> yeah, like for real. Hundred. What you see on this show, ballers and all that. That's some bullshit. That's so weak. <laughs> yeah. Like we had real things going on. Like guys trafficking drugs to guns and uh, gangbangers and all these other things. And then incidents. You know, you're trying. You're in college, right? So all the incidents in college at San Diego, and then working at all the concerts and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> and then just at San Diego, man. Yeah. You know, San Diego, San Diego. That's yeah. a, that's a. I mean, you'd be walking down the beach in PB, and a gang fight breaks out. You know, uh, but as far as football and all that, uh, uh, you know, crazy stories um, outside of you know just uh, uh, the things that you do to get hyped up for games and and 
you know, the things you do to keep going <laughs> and taking, you know, f recovering from injuries and snapping joints back into place and, you know, all that. I remember one time ago, we got into a fight uh, uh, down in San Diego uh, in the streets, man, with so many people. It was ridiculous. Yeah, you know, there's a lot more things that you could do back then that you can't do now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Social media. Yeah. With, yeah. Without yeah. a phone. You guys, you know. Oh my God! I don't know what we would. Ne nobody'd have a scholarship back then. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dude! I got arrested my freshman year in college because uh, we were in a big, huge fraternity fight with these guys, and I uh, spent a couple nights in San Diego County, and uh, as a freshman. But I was big, and you know, took care of myself, whatever. So nobody fucked with me. It was a crazy experience, though. It was wild being in the county of San Diego, uh, downtown. And uh, wow. yeah, I was there for like uh, almost you know uh, two days, and uh, you know we got into a big old fight with these fraternity guys and trashed their fraternity house, broke all their shit, and you know that sounds yeah. awesome. I would do that, dude. Yeah, we got into all this stuff back then, and all What's you know. Beef? We were, we were uh, it's it's long enough now gone that you know we could talk about it because I didn't know nothing at the time, right? That's why I stayed in jail the longest. All these guys got out, and I was sitting in jail, and like call your mom and dad. I'm like, <laughs> that's a truck driver and a cop. <laughs> right. I'm not. I'm, I'm not calling anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this out. Yeah, it's cold in here, but you know, yeah. it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I know these guys. They had rich parents. They're from Tory Pines. These two brothers. They bailed me out ultimately because they couldn't have me sitting in jail. It kept being worse for them. We went through a whole court trial. It was. I can't imagine that happening today. It would be all televised on ESPN and everything. Wow. I had to fight for my life. I was going to prison for like two years. Yeah, for punching somebody or being involved in this and you know uh getting caught or whatever you know they nabbed us up the cops came to the the, the house we were sitting in we dumbasses just stupid you know if i can g get involved in this go back to the house we were at then the cops show up we're all stuck in there boom 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 you know oh, i'm out shit. in cuffs out in the front yard and they're bringing the guys by to point fingers at everybody i'm like you know they don't know who it is they can't say it's all dark and stuff you know it's melee so it, it was just a crazy thing man sit in that situation wondering if you're not going to lose your scholarship and it's all over and all this stuff you know that's i guess the craziest uh, story i could give from college was <laughs> you know Hell it, yeah it was know. almost quickly uh, uh finished but uh you know the rest was history after that but I, I i didn't hold back you know again it was a new it was another era so I, I did all that stuff i just kept it quiet you know i grew up in uh, the ie and we had to fight for everything out there so you gotta yeah. fight I, was, uh, I wasn't uh. afraid to do nothing that i didn't have to do to keep going and you know <laughs> and you gotta you gotta work yeah yeah you gotta do what you gotta do man you gotta true and we got chief token up up in here saying happy birthday red rider <laughs> thanks for going to the sh thanks for going on the show kyle and sharing your knowledge of the plants bet. that's right saved my life period and not trying to piss you guys off, we got Aton in here saying, I just Next. finished the Cali Blaze leftovers his fiance cooked up for us. Wow. Oh. That's bold. I didn't even get to try it. Thanks, That's asshole. Bold. And we got the business up in here saying, Two flips for the B Day boy. Mm -hmm. Bolton, hope you enjoyed the last trip around the sun. Many more blood, cheers, and good smoke. Wow. <laughs> um, do y'all, you, you guys have a stand in up there, right? Oh, yeah. All right. You go ahead and take your, take your flips, but uh, keep it moving. And we got <laughs> the real Jacob up in here saying, B, you could probably use another 20 flips. You're fine. <laughs> I know I'm fine. Yeah. I, I agree. Thank you. Flips. Psh, no. <laughs> Not doing 20 more flips. <laughs> crazy. And we got Miss Raquel's World up in here saying, I went to a Jerry Springer show here in Chicago. The audience sometimes got rowdy. I talk shit to the guests. <laughs> they took my info down and hit me up to make up a story for an episode, and they even offered to pay. Wow. Probably $300. Reality. <laughs> 300 awesome. fucking yeah. dollars, and if you ramped up to a fight, 1200 Ooh. Awesome. Maybe. That is awesome. Maybe 800 Feels good. It depends on the story, how juicy it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Fucking ramp it up, son. Chicago. And we got Dallas Hill up in here saying, action. what up, y'all? It's Justin707 from Humboldt. And he's saying, I'm searching for Bag of Insane for some festivities. Stay peaceful, and y'all have a great day. For Bag of Insane. 
for bag? He's searching for a bag of insane. <laughs> you made it sound like it was Borat. He's like, I look for a bag of insane. Look of insane. <laughs> I look for bag. You see bag? Where's he at? The bagage. <laughs> the bagage. So I like that. He's in NorCal. Where are you guys? He's up in Humboldt. Where you yeah. Guys, where are you guys distributed up there? You don't have a store up there yet, no more. Um, I can't remember the name of the distributor right now. I'm high as fuck. Yeah, yeah. But Any, yeah. Have you been up to Humboldt? Any dispensaries? Uh, we had one up there for a time, but um, yeah, it's it's been a couple years since we've been out that way. Did y'all ever play any shows in Humboldt? Yeah. Did you do yeah. Mateel? Um, we that, played at the university a Center. couple times, yeah. Oh. And, and yeah. That place is so crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> we did some mushrooms over there when we played that show. It was crazy. I, I mm. love that place. Yeah, it's nice. And they and they, and not for nothing, they got some bomb ass weed. Everybody out there is yeah. a talented fucking weed grower, yeah. cultivator, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of flavors. Mm. I was there. I know. They had everything, man. Back in the day, that you would you go tour up there, they would have concentrates, everything before any of this stuff happened. Remember, a guy gave yeah. me a whole jar of this honey and honey oil. This this infused honey oil. He's like, in this is this old white dude. He just came in. He's like, I'm supposed to give this to you. <laughs> <laughs> and he hands this to me, man. I was like, this is amazing. We just kept putting in our coffees on the bus on the way back to Nashville. It was so That's killer. Cool. Yeah. That, that sounds like a NorCal gift. They're ahead of the game. Yeah. yeah. Next. <laughs> oh, he's doing his flips. All right. <laughs> no, All right. He's getting his flips on. All right. All right. That's <laughs> hey, do, on three. Gotta go. Do both at the same time. Gotta dude. Do double time, right? Because <laughs> this shit is mad small. Fucking read them yeah. off, dude. All right, baby. That was like 10 because we were doing them before. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, you had to double up because those are actually, you know, those five ain't like a regular five. All right. Baby flips. Yeah. You got to control your breathing on the flips. Yes, you breathing do. Breathing slow. That's right. <laughs> and uh, that seems to be it. All we right. Be good. Hey, we want to thank right. everybody for getting down with us today. Uh, salute to all y'all. Salute to my man, Kyle Turley, for coming in here with us and sitting in. Yes, uh, and if you want to check the replay of this, uh, you can go to Apple Music and Spotify and, and look for the Dr. Green Thumb podcast uh, right here while it's live. It is the show, but on the replay on those platforms, it is the podcast. So um, that's the distinction. Salute to everybody in our... Uh, Psycho Ward on Twitch, the Discordalies, and the 5150s right here on YouTube in the Insane Asylum. Uh, man, it's been a great show. Yes. Kyle, you got any shout outs? Man, shout outs. Good Lord. I don't know, man. <laughs> the man upstairs, brother. Right on. God, this is all God, bro. Appreciate everything, right? I don't, I don't mean we can drop all our companies and everything else, but it's, it's all God's work that we're here and we're doing it, right? That's right. Got to give it up. Amen. Yeah. Right on, man. C minus. Uh, thanks to everyone that's uh, that's here watching, hanging out with us here for the podcast. Kyle, thank you for being on. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. Psycho Leasy. What up? E, e Zone. I almost said the homie E1. B, of course. Ra Ra. Birthday boy uh, Bolton. Up in there. Happy birthday, you with the thing. And uh, just everyone at Kitchen Sink Crew Insane Asylum, uh, go check out djcminus.com and uh, see you guys tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. for the uh, f for the Kitchen Sink Mix. And we're going to start the weekend off right. Uh, thank you. It's like Elise. Shout outs? No doubt. Um, shout out everybody watching. Um, shout out to the fam in the crib. Uh, if you're checking for the Psycho Less merch, go to the psycholessshop.com and just look me up, Psycho Less, wherever. And uh, it's Thursday, so we're going to jump on this mix. Afterwards. That's right. No doubt. That's right. Cairo and Psycho Lizzie. Bolton. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, Friday, tomorrow at 420, we got the shenanigans, fat, funky, dropping. Right. So check it out at 420. And also, G-Pen's having a sale 25% off until 430, wow. April 30th. So check it out as well. Go to gpen.com. And thank you guys so much <clears throat> for the birthday shout-outs. Thank you all. Oh, e zone. Shout-out shout out to Weed for Warriors. 
That's what I want to shout out. We for Warriors, man, all the great work those guys are doing out here, getting veterans their medicine, and uh, we're about to do a great killer partnership with those guys, man. And I want to talk, just give a shout out to that, because get ready. We're about to kick all these doors in on all these politicians. They've been around for a while. Um, yeah, salute to everybody who tuned in. Nice meeting you, dog. You know what I mean? Uh, cool peoples. Uh, make sure you guys go to flavorsbyezone.com, highhungry.shop. We're also going to be uh, going on live later on for the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. We got uh, this guy named Hibbler. He uh, he he has a whole new documentary on this whole flat Earth thing. So it's kind of like Xavier's gonna go have an hour of that. And then I also have my friend flying in from Canada. I haven't seen him since I just stand up the first time out there. Uh, he flew out to do some stand up out here with me, but he's flying in from like Australia right now. So we're gonna have him in as well too. So check out check it out. Tune in seven to nine. We don't smoke the same podcast. It's gonna be a good time. Word. Uh, thank you for being here with us. Stay with love. Love is the key. You already know it. Visit those Dr. Green Thumb dispensaries. They got the insane flavors and the Dr. Green Thumb flavors. Make sure you visit those stores. We'll pop them addresses up soon. Uh, these are the insane bags. Take a look. Oh, yes. Fire in the bag. Take your oven mitts. You'll burn your fucking fingers off. Because there's gas in all these bags here, that is for sure. And then, uh, you know, there's the Dr. Green Thumb bags here. Check those. These is our these are our collabs with Legacy Farmers. Um, salute to all the folks that uh, we've done these collabs with. Um, man, flavors in a bag right here. Uh, salute to everybody that uh, is getting down with us right here. Check their mix right after this on Twitch. B underscore Real TV is the place. Uh, if you want some music by Psycho Leezy and Cairo, go do it. I no boof, no negative energy. Stay lifted. One. It's going.